for the best. She doesn't I, know how to make rundung, so uh, she, we're just going to fry them up. Nice. I mean, that's all you have to do, really. I think. I mean, I think grilling it on a super hot grill with mm. with a multitude of different toppings or sauces or condiments. We're going to make some fresh. Um, we're going to make some fresh tartar sauce, which is very easy to make at home. People freak out about it, and you should make tartar sauce at home. Mayonnaise and relish. Stop buying it. No, <laughs> not mayonnaise and relish, Jack. What Shut else up. would you put in it? It's mayonnaise, <laughs> capers, dill pickles, shallot, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Like and I if, said, and if mayonnaise you want, and relish. And if you want to, a <laughs> tiny bit of zatarains or Old Bay, a tiny sh- like a tiny shake of Old Bay if you want. And we're going to make some, like, white wine cream sauce. We're going to make some piccata sauce with artichokes and tomato and capers. And you just kind of ladle that on top of the grilled fish, whatever it may be. And that's what we're doing tomorrow. So what time are we or oh, yeah. What time are we supposed to be we're going to be at Code Blacks. We're going to be hammered by 11 in the morning. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to try to talk him into starting the smoker so I can smoke a piece and make some dip out of it. Have you ever had smoked fish dip yes. on Yes. Yes. Buddy, Love me, that. There is nothing in the world like a nice smoked mullet fish dip, which you can get in seasons yes. on the side of the road going to the beaches. Mm-hmm. Man, that just on saltine crackers. is the bomb. Oh, oh bomb. My God. With, with an ice cold soda and beer. No. Get the. Get the. Careful. Uh, anyway. Good for, news. I think our uh, Jim Colbert Show video stream is back live yay. in operation. Yay. Search Jim Colbert Show. We are now live. Fingers right. crossed. Very good. And that's perfect Thank timing. You, Jack. Because right after this, we're going to talk more food with our buddy Fiaz Cara. Primetime Yay. Kitchen is up right after this on the Jim Colbert Show. Mayo and relish. If you're going to give up your personal information to a giant, merciless corporation, might as well listen to something good. So tell Alexa to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Looking at slow traffic this afternoon on I-4, both east and westbound on the interstate. There is a crash blocking two lanes near Sand Lake Road, causing backups from Kirkman. The earlier crash reported southbound on the turnpike is now just blocking the left shoulder, but traffic is still very heavy between Osceola Parkway and 192. If you see any other traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here from my buddies over at the Filatowski Eye Institute. I will tell you straight up, if you ask anybody who's had at LASIK surgery, they're going to tell you straight up, it is the best decision they ever made. My son got this as well. I don't ever talk about him because he's younger but he got his he got his eyes fixed as well looked at about the same time and it's incredible the experience these guys have have had is simply amazing man and if you have bad eyesight and you've been fighting with it for years or or weeks or months or whatever the case may be you got to get with my friends with the Filatoski eye institute and get that free consultation to find out exactly what they can do for you simply text 1041 to 868686 start that journey to better vision with the Filatoski eye institute these guys have all the experience you need 65,000 lasik procedures under their belt and they use the latest state of the art tech so that means you get the best possible results every single time and don't worry about finances they have you covered 24 month interest free financing is available as well simply text 1041 to 868686 and schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatoski Eye Institute your path to better vision begins right now join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards live from Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. and listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Canes, Canes, Canes. Get an alarm clock. Get a rooster! Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on! Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. 
Doors open at 10 a.m. Canes. You won't find it for less. Canes. Super Saturday. Canes, Canes, Canes. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasismeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL draft is right around the corner, and the Move to Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. That's right, guys. Time for Primetime Kitchen here on the Jim Goldberg Show and Real Radio 104.1. One, featuring our good buddy Fias Carr from the Orlando Weekly. Talk about Fias here in just one second. Experts. This is all brought to you by our good friends over at Tools Ace Hardware. Love those guys. You will as well. They have all the best grills out there. Big Green Egg, Traeger, uh, Napoleon, Weber. Some of the best stuff out there. Not to mention the hardware. They got the software as well, which is the, the woods, the pellets, all the ah. great cooking implements you need, marinades, uh, uh, spices, uh, rubs. It's all right there. Tools Ace Hardware, 13 Tools Ace Hardware is here in Central Florida to serve you, including that brand new one there in Hamlin. Find them online at toolsacehardware.com. Good and loud for Fias Cara from the Orlando Weekly. Yay! Woohoo! Why, oh, thank you. Thank you. How's things, nice. friend? How's things? Oh, things are good. I'm uh, I'm a little hungry, so are I went, really? actually went to Rye Southern Biscuits. You know, I thought I'd grab something there, but they they close at two, and I got there like at two o four. So I just ate some uh, blue cheese. Well, buddy, you and I had a pretty good uh, sure. lunch this week, did we not? I know we're going to talk about that in one second. How's your week been, by the way? Yeah, you just asked me that. And I, but I'm did saying, no, oh. how's your week been? I said. <laughs> Yeah, he knows oh. you're hungry now. Yeah, hey, I know you're hungry now, though. <laughs> been hungry all week. Yeah, uh, yeah. The week, week, <laughs> the week has been great. 
It's been great. Has it really? Another epic week. Another... Lots of eating. I can't even remember. <laughs> How do you stay so thin? You actually are in pretty good shape. Okay. Yeah. And, and okay. I, know that, I know you're very athletic. I know you like to play like you play hockey and, and street hockey and lacrosse, and you like to do things like that. Crystal meth. Crystal meth. Tennis. Lacrosse. Lacrosse. That's <laughs> a good one. You're it, Canadian. It is Canada's I have to... national sport, by the way. Yeah, People yeah. always think it's hockey, but right. lacrosse is Canada's it national is. sport. It is. I played it in high school. I nearly got killed by that bloody ball. Never played again. Yeah, yeah, it's brutal. I just learned something new today. Which is? Yeah. Lacrosse is the national yeah. sport of Canada. Yeah, yeah. same here. I had no idea. I, that's, I have all the Canadian jokes ready to go for this guy. <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> every one of them. Uh, so every team, uh, every week, uh, Fias will call up and talk to us about things that are happening in Orlando in the world of the uh, foods and drinks. So what do you have for us this week, Big Dog? Well, we didn't talk about uh, the review last week uh, because of the Best Of show, but there, there's two reviews I have this week. One being Summer House on the Lake, and I think we uh, briefly talked about this place because of that chocolate cake, but um, Summer House on the Lake is in Disney Springs. It's where Bongo's Cuban Cafe used to be, and I'll say that if I find myself back at Disney Springs dodging those white-socked wankers and all the <laughs> pixie dusted pillocks, <laughs> it'll be to revisit Summer House on the Lake. Really? It, that good, huh? Yeah. Oh. It's it's it really it really surprised me at, at at how enjoyable an experience it was. I mean, the place is like an airy hacienda straight out of the pages of Architectural Digest. The fair is Cali inspired, so it's like lighter, it's healthier, you know, with a focus on on local. And yeah, it really it just it, it really surprised me at how enjoyable it was. And the best part is that when you're in there, it kind of removes you from the, you know, from from the from the bangerang of uh, of of Disney Springs. You know, it really sort of transports you away from all of that, which which I think is really important for uh, at least a certain segment of Disney Springs visitors, namely uh, 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 reluctant ones like myself. But um, but anyway, back to the back to the cuisine. It being Cali inspired. They serve everything like a lot of wood grilled items. Like they yeah, have yeah. Um, wood grilled artichokes. You know, like oh, a, yeah. lot of, a lot of people go to Hillstone for that. They oh, kind yeah. of became known for that. These ones are just as good, if not better, and they're three dollars cheaper. So wow. they get the same heirloom globe uh, artichokes from Castroville, California. They serve it with an aioli. Fantastic. They're you know they're doing things like um, avocado halves that are wood grilled and slicked in salsa matcha. Nice spicy, smoky. Uh, 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 salsa matcha. Um, uh, one dish that surprisingly stuck out, stuck out was uh, um, uh, was was something called the chicken breast pieard, and essentially it's a butterfly chicken breast that's pounded thin, and it's then marinated in herbs and lemon, and then it's like wood grilled, and then it's and then they 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 sort of like drop little little droplets of uh, Calabrian chili vinaigrette over it, and it's just so simple and just so so good. Yeah, you know, yeah, healthy, really nice, really well done. You don't leave feeling hungry or anything like that. Very satisfying. Yeah, we're talking about the Summer House on the Lake out at Disney Springs. I wanted to ask you, what would be an event to go there? Is this one you go with a family? Is this take a date? Is this a Sunday afternoon thing? Is is there you know a... what? I think all apply. Really, you know, we met a couple there that live in Celebration that dodge these crowds. I think they've dodged them like 10 times and it's only been open. I think it opened in November or December and they like to go and sit at the bar in the back, look at the water and just eat a meal at the bar. You see families there, you see couples on dates. It really, I think satisfies all those kind of like segments, you know, of, of, of the populace. So they also have a cookie bar. So they're known for their cookie Ooh. bar. So off to the side of the restaurant, people like just line up to get these cookies, but I had two of them. I had the um, uh, chocolate chip walnut cookie and the something called the oatmeal scotchy, and I just I just found them to be way too sweet for my yeah. liking. You know, it's kind of like Gideon's. Gideon's for, I think is it polarizes a bit. Like some people love Gideon's and they're big fat cookies, and some people are just they, you know they're not about it. I, too, I much. Kind of follow that too, I, I, <laughs> too much. I, I disagree. I do like the Gideon's the, the chocolate chip that has a pistachio in there because the pistachio yeah. has a little bit of salt, and I think that's the key to good sweets is the is the contrast of a little bit of salt in there. Yeah, I'm an outlier because I like my cookies thin and crisp and kind yes. of burnt. Yeah, you know? same here. Oh, yeah. Slightly burnt ah. in my cookies. Oh. Oh. Nom, nom, nom. Oh. All right, well, let's move <laughs> on. But beyond that, so the cookies I wasn't really that big a fan of, but that chocolate cake. And if you haven't seen the chocolate cake, just go to my Instagram and you can see this this, this food porn of like my, my friend cutting through this honking slice of cake that's straight out of the bear. 
uh, the TV show, and it it is it's practically worth going to this restaurant alone. Okay, so that's the Summer House on Lake uh, on the Lake out at Disney Springs. A big thumbs up there for you. There, let's move on to the next one because this one the name of this is interesting. Yes, Death in the Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, hey, so, honey, you want to go to Death in the Afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> what is so it's named it's named after a, a Hemingway work about bullfighting um you know because Hemingway and bullfighting go hand in hand like Hemingway and drinking right and <laughs> and this place Shotguns. this place kind of celebrates both you know the um, the you know it has like proper good cocktails it has Spanish leaning cuisine and absinthe of course is the um is the spirit of choice here just as it was with uh, with Hemingway the hem- absinthe was was his kind of quaff of choice um and and by the way they also serve a cocktail called the death in the afternoon which which evidently was a drink invented by uh Hemingway and some of the sailor buddies and essentially it's just absinthe I think one and a half ounces of absinthe and champagne. And the the original recipe was in this book called Breath in the Afternoon, which was published in 1935. And it said, uh, drink three to five of these slowly, because after six of these, the sun also rises. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. A little Easter weekend yeah. joke there too. I like that. Double working. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that's right. So you do you um, re- do you recommend the places? The food good is well, highly what, what, what's highly. That? Everything is cool or everything is great. So the chef, his name is Eric Norvellis, and he um, he was most recently the sous chef at the Monroe in uh, in Creative Village, and his his Spanish leaning uh, menu is. It, it's so enjoyable. Like that was also another surprise. You know, we went into this place thinking, oh, it's just going to be sort of like a moody booze den. And to get that really top-notch Spanish fare, like um, he he braises octopus in in fennel and and smoked pimenton, which is sort of like a, a Spanish paprika, and then he lightly chars it and then serves it with black lentils, which were fantastic. These seasoned lentils were almost upstaged the um, the octopus, and then he serves a chorizo burger, which he makes from a sausage that he makes in house, and then he uh, he he grounds it, he um, he uh, smashes it. And he serves it in a burger along with like uh, um, it's a peach um, a peach jam, manchego cheese, arugula, and he puts Damn. it on a brioche bun. That sounds gold delicious, heart. doesn't yeah, it? That sounds amazing. I wasn't hungry yeah, before, it, but I know. And then he has like a like a pork belly that he serves over a mole made from pasilla chilies um, and pepitas, which are um, essentially crunched up uh, pumpkin seeds. Yeah, just like so good, like really like cuisine that you wouldn't expect from a absinthe bar right yeah sounds pretty inventive actually very yeah i mean inventive in the sense that it's okay it's an absinthe bar serving classic spanish fare but um but uh, but it's it feels really traditional when you go in there even the decor you know it has that patina of of age you know so it feels like you're going to something that's been there for a really long time so it feels traditional in that sense but i will say that he also serves some desserts and I would tell people to pass on the beignets because they're they're baked and they take on this texture of um, I don't know, like a, like stale bread rolls. Yeah. So pass on the beignets and and get the Basque cheesecake instead. Okay. Mm. Now where is this spot? Oh, it's in Mills Fifty. It is um, uh, right in the heart of Mills Fifty. I have to get the address, but it's it's on it's on Mills Avenue. I'm sure Jack will pull it up in a, in a couple of seconds. All but right. It's in the heart of Mills Fifty. Very cool. Um, we'll find or, it. I mean, it's called Death in the Afternoon, and you love it. So uh, that's two positive reviews, one for the Summer House on the Lake and one for Death in the Afternoon. Let's move on. You and I, uh, the barbecue openings are here. Now, I've seen one of these places online a lot, Smoke Made mm-hmm. Meats. I've seen a lot of social for them, and you and I just went to Boxer and Clover with our good friend or from our good friend Matt Hinckley just this past week. What did you think, by the way? Yeah, so we. I think we had the whole platter. I think we – quite enjoyed most of the meats we had the brisket i think was the star was the star yeah. that was so lush and fatty good it was um, so good i found myself cutting the fat cap off of it so that when i cut a bite of meat i was able to get the perfect amount of fat with the uh, beef so that it was perfect and it, it, it was yeah. the only way to eat it and it was delicious by the way i've got a fat cap <laughs> perfectly perfectly <laughs> cooked um, oh, the pull, i thought the pulled pork was good the barbecue sauce yeah. was good the ribs were good the only thing i think you and i both agreed on is the marinade and the smoke for the chicken thigh didn't quite make it through into the full into the yeah. meat 
the outside's still good, but it just didn't penetrate in there the way we were, you know, we thought it would maybe. Did not penetrate. That's exactly what I was going to say. So, um, and and good thing is that you know Matt, you know we were able to you know give some feedback to Matt about about her. We also uh, you love the collard greens, and I oh. thought they needed a little more of a smoky kind of like oh, uh, a kick to it. But you love them. Um, the uh, we felt the um, what was it? The coleslaw needed a little more astringency, a, a little more, acid, a little more acid. Little more I, I, mm-hmm. I would have thought either a little bit more apple cider vinegar, or a tiny bit, bit more of lemon juice. But the potato salad was perfect. It's exactly yeah. how you're supposed to make potato salad. It's yeah. tiny fingerling potatoes cut in half, so you get that you get the chew of the skin, yeah, and not too much potato. So when you put not the dressing much. on there, it doesn't get gummy in your mouth. It was so great. And how good were the red onions? But, Great, but Jim, what about that blueberry pie? Oh, oh, I talked about it yesterday. So we were talking about blueberries being in season, and he gets this blueberry pie. They go and pick these blueberries, and the blueberries have been cooked, but they don't even look like it. It's just like they're in the syrup. Then when you bite into them, that syrup just explodes into your mouth with a perfect balance of sweet, a perfect balance of blueberry, and a perfect balance of pie crust. Would you agree? Mm, lump. It was great. Yeah, Fias, it was great. Fias just folded it in half and ate it like a taco <laughs> because they come in these little tins. So freaking good. I, I was telling Matt the whole time we were sitting there with the owner of the place eating this. And I was like, how did you keep those berries intact like that? Because usually when you make these cobblers and stuff, the berries get their asses kicked. And then all the mm-hmm. juice comes out yeah. and it makes everything a little too gummy and runny. But these are perfect. It's almost like he sous vide them. It was great. Yeah, it was great, and I and I had my eye on I think on the banana cream pie, which they said they're you know they were just making and it wasn't quite ready to be served yet. So I'm like, all right, we'll settle for the blueberry pie. But man, I'd I'd go back for that thing again. <laughs> no settling at all. <laughs> now I haven't had smoke made meat yet that are on curry for. By the way, uh, Boxer and Clover is at East End Market right there on Corin uh, in that back corner there. Uh, Matt Hinkley is the guy who brings you Hinkley's fancy meats. He's a baller and one of the sweetest dudes you'll ever meet in your life. By the way. Right. And, and Matt Heafy. Let's not forget Matt Heafy is also a part right. of this yeah, venture, yeah. who is the equally fine gentleman from uh, the lead singer of Trivium, there you the go. band. Oh, how about and that? And he's such a nice guy, too. Both great guys. Also, earlier you were talking about death in the afternoon. It is uh, actually at 903 Mills Ave, North Mills Ave. It's a little north of uh, Tori Tori, a little south of Will's Pub and Taco Chino, but right there on uh, 1792, which is Mills Ave. Very nice. Right. So tell me about smoke made meats. I'm see- hearing a lot about this. Yeah. So la- in fact, the last time, funny enough, I had sm- smoke made meats. He was popping up at East End Market. He had the smoker out there, and his brisket, I thought at the time, was possibly one of the best briskets in the city. So they they just recently opened. I believe they opened last week, or they soft opened last week in um, in the Curry Ford West District, just near Hourglass District. Um, in the old uh, in the old space that used to have a restaurant called the Italian House Restaurant, I don't know if people remember that. It's on uh, at 1400 South Crystal Lake Drive, and Italian House used to be there for a long time. So yeah, so he's finally got a brick and mortar, deservingly so, I think. Um, I haven't gone yet, but I have had his barbecue, and it's it's just as good. It's just as um, noteworthy as the barbecue that we've been talking about for Boxer and Clover. Well, uh, let me tell you, that's a great name. I mean, of all the barbecue restaurant names, through all them, there's tons of them. Every iteration of barbecue terms you can put in the name of a restaurant they've made. I can't believe Smoke Made Meats hasn't made it yet. That's a great name. <laughs> it's so simple. It is so, so simple. to the point. All right. And so- he's, he's specializing more in, like, I think that Central Texas barbecue. That's why brisket is, like, a big part of it and the sausages. Right. He has, like, a jala- jalapeno cheddar sausage, which is also amazing now that I recollect the uh, the sausage I had there, so. All right, so let's do, before we kidnap you and take you somewhere and make you take mm-hmm. us to the best place in that area, uh, tell oh, me about uh, a la carte and Soto is opening this uh, next month? Yeah, so if uh, a la carte is in the, uh, the current a la carte is in the uh, milk district uh, just south of Colonial, and they essentially have like food trucks that are permanently parked there, and they also have like a, a, a beer bar as well. So they're going to be opening their second venture in, uh, in Soto next month. 
um, I'll I'll have to get the address, but it's on Instagram. They're a la carte Soto at Instagram, and and they're going to have a food truck park there, similar similar like the one in in Mills uh, in the Milk District, except they're going to have more spaces for food trucks. So um, they'll have like a sushi joint. They're going to have like a Spanish joint. They're going to have a over rice, the Filipino Hawaiian kind of nice. um, uh, place, a Latin fusion. Uh, uh, operation, um, Nona Street Pizza, Smash Dunk Burger, uh, and a German place called Oldenburg Provisions, which will serve like German fare. So I think all in all, they, they're going to have between eight and 10, I want to say, um, food trucks permanently parked here. Um, uh, so they'll open next month. I believe they're on Curry Ford Road, but I will, uh, I'm going to have Jack. Yeah, yeah, look Check it up real that quick. out again. All right, so while, <laughs> Soto. All right, so while Jack's doing that, uh, we kidnap you, blindfold oh, you, take you to a part of town, <laughs> That's look, right. pile you out of the van, put a gun to your head, and tell you to take us to the best place. And this week, we're kidnapping you. We're taking you mm. to Altamont Springs, Florida. Ooh, we're no! Dump, we're dumping you out in the parking <laughs> lot of the mall. We're sticking a gun in your face, and we're saying, take us to the best pizza in Altamont Springs, Florida. <sighs> okay. All right, so there is a place near the mall, in fact, called Antica. Antica. Antica, A-N-T-I-C-A. And when they opened, uh, when they initially opened, I want to say maybe around three years ago, they were serving one of the best Neapolitan pizzas in the city. In fact, I think I may have done like a thing for Eater, and I was uh, uh, I, I had them on the list as being one of the best pizza places in town. The Pizzaolo was from Naples. He was an extremely skilled Pizzaolo, uh, really know, knew how to work with that dough. And then they, I believe they sold to different owners. And when I went back, the pizza was, you know, it, it, it was it was satisfying. It just wasn't as, I think, noteworthy as it was before. Because to work with that, you know, with that dough, with that using that Tipo double O flour, which is like a very fine flour, and, and having it be fermented for like 48 to 72 hours to work with that toad takes a really skilled hand, which which the original Pizzaolo had. So um, I'd be interested to see, like, if people have uh, uh, any of the listeners have gone recently to Antica and what their what their thoughts are. But then the other one that just came to mind is Terra Mia Rest Ristorante, which is just a little bit down the road. Um I think on the other side of I four, it may be on four thirty four. Is that on four thirty six? Yeah, but yeah. I know it's technically in Altamont Springs. Yeah, it, it's got a great reputation for food up and down the menu. Yeah, and they do a wood fired pizza. And the owner Rosario Spagnolo had a pizza restaurant on Park Avenue where Mares Real Peruvian is right now. It was called uh, it was called Maestro Cucina Napolitana, and he brought this his friend of his from Naples who was doing the pizza again, amazing pizza. But then they sold to a couple other people, and they decided to not do Neapolitan style pizza, and it wasn't as good. And now it's a Peruvian restaurant. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there you made the the full <laughs> rounds, but. Uh, uh, well, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Great job today. Good and loud for Fias Cara. Yay! Woo-hoo! Tell people where they can find you, buddy. We've had a lot of people wanting to follow you on social media so they can kind of catch up on where these things are that you talk about all the time. Yeah, I am mainly on Instagram at it's Fias Cara, I T S F A I Y A Z K A R A. Uh, and you can find me at Fias Cara everywhere else. But I'm mainly on Instagram. Check me out. Check out those, uh, you know, the video of that uh, of that chocolate cake if you haven't already. Oh, yeah. and by the Sweet way, and, it's worth it. And make it a habit to go to OrlandoWeekly.com. He has a thing called the Tip Jar, yep. and it's basically mm-hmm. a weekly update of what's happening in the culinary world in Central Florida, openings, closings, uh, some of his suggestions. He does it every single week, OrlandoWeekly.com. He does usually put it on his Instagram account, but if you're not into social and you don't want to do that, you can mm-hmm. just go to OrlandoWeekly.com and see everything he reviews and read the tip jar. So he's giving you the tip. He's not asking for a gratuity exactly it's outstanding Jack. it's, it's a, safe what a canadian i will take some money though <laughs> i am taking tips all right very good again Don't buddy, speak for me jack we Don't appreciate speak. we appreciate it so much have a great weekend happy easter happy easter happy easter all right very good thanks. the great fire thanks, thanks, thanks buddy appreciate it. it thank you fire all right 407 916 1041 text us at 77031 if you ever get a chance to lock that guy up in a conversation out in public please do it and please be annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he tolerates that kind of stuff very well. He loves it. <laughs> he loves conversations with me because I'm so dumb. 
<laughs> hey, you know where Alex? You know where Alex? Don't speak for me, Jim. You know where Alexandria <laughs> is, right? <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll see you next week. Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Back in a sec with more of the Egypt. Jim Colbert show. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for Primetime Kitchen, brought to you by our friends over at Tools Ace Hardware. Look, guys, when you're dialing in your backyard for those special days, Tools has you covered with the best grills out there, Weber, Traeger, and, of course, Big Green Egg. All the accessories you need, all the smoking wood you need, rubs, marinades, everything to make that outdoor experience amazing. You know, those family experiences are extremely special. Make sure you're doing it right with one of these great grills from our friends over at Tools Ace Hardware. With 11 locations in Central Florida, chances are you're right around the corner from your next dream grill. Find yours today at toolsacehardware.com. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we're looking at a fabulous Friday. Temperatures will be on the warm but comfortable side, climbing into the mid to upper 70s across Central Florida with a high of 78 degrees in Orlando. Plenty of sunshine on the way for today, too. Make sure you grab your sunglasses for any sort of outdoor plans, and that will be the case through this weekend as well. Plan for highs in the low 80s for Saturday, mid 80s for Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Time to be a hero. Tell your friends and family about Life Imaging FLA. That's exactly what I did. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, they both went in for their scans and I remember standing right next to my wife when my mother-in-law called to let her know that her scan from Life Imaging FLA was perfectly clear, and so was her dad's. And I got to tell you guys, you could literally hear the relief in her voice over the phone. That's exactly what happens when you go to Life Imaging FLA. You get that free heart scan, and you find out what's going on inside. Because here's the problem. A lot of people ignore that stuff. But the big problem is, is with heart disease, one of the first things that can happen is sudden death. You want to make sure you avoid that at all costs. Make sure you know what's going on. No dyes. Don't take your clothes off. This only takes a few minutes. Do not wait. Do exactly what I did, what my wife did, what my father-in-law did, what my mother-in-law did, and plenty of Central Floridians. Call Life Imaging FLA. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $699 value. Be sure to ask while you're there about their cancer screening as well. It's easy. Pick up your cell phone. Dial pound two. 50, say that keyword free hard scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250, say the keyword free hard scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make this the year you take control of your long term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one time auto dial text message from IR Media. Life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Are your energy costs through the roof? Call the company that has been in business for 20 years. FAS is now offering $500 off any window and or door project. A plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS or visit us at FASWD.com. We're also having a giveaway of $20,000 in window and doors with no purchase necessary. To enter for the giveaway, go to FASWD.com slash giveaway. That's FASWD.com slash giveaway. Way. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now, like Lost 80s. 
Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and DeLand. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That that means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, DeLand and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. This year full of real radio is brought to you by tools ace hardware we now return to the jim colbert show what up guys sport from jacksonville jimmy i ain't never had a man get me turned on riding down the street listening to the radio but you give him that barbecue review (laughs) talking about exploding in your mouth and Penetrating the chicken and dead fat cap. Man, I'm having a good Friday, baby. <laughs> I told you. Good Friday. You get I, it? Told, I told I told Deb during the break. I said, there's some truckers out there. Uh, I had my lollipop off camera. Yeah, it's not a lollipop. God almighty. All right, 407. I killed him. 916 1041. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just tell people you're going to eat a lollipop the entire show every day? Go to our YouTube channel. Watch that be the lollipop. I just look up and all of a sudden there's eyes on yeah, you. Yeah. Good God, man. <laughs> all right, 407 916 1041. By the way, if you didn't get your ticket yet to uh, to uh, Harry's Poolside uh, Bar and Grill gig coming up April 6th, our sip and savor event, do that now. Harry's Poolside.com. $70, six dishes paired with Hidden Springs beers. We had them yesterday. Unbelievable. And by the way, this tasting menu isn't one of those where you have to leave and go get something to eat. Not even close. No. There's plenty of food, plenty of drink. And for the price, it's unbeatable. It is by far the best pairing deal that you will get in Orlando. And it's not even close. The level of food is great. The drinks are wonderful. The setting is wonderful. And the company is good as well. Again, that's harryspoolside.com. I think we only had 13 tickets left when we got on the air today. We sold most of them yesterday. Uh, They will not make it through the weekend. So, again, if you want to join us, please do that today, harryspoolside.com. I actually, I probably need to get a ticket count and see how we're doing. Uh, It was pretty tight yesterday even. And I know they sell them throughout the evening as well. So, uh, hopefully, you can get in there. It'd be great. Love to see you. It's a great time. A great time. And then they got a, a couple more coming up this year, Yeah, right? we do. And, yeah. you know, the funny thing is, is these this happens all the time because food is sub, such a subjective thing. Fias gets a lot of crap uh, on the texting service about his reviews because he sounds so into it. He's really into it. And I will tell you something else. If you follow his reviews, you will never be disappointed. Every single time I go where this guy tells me to eat, it's delicious. Maybe a little challenging sometimes because that's the whole idea. But, man, it's always good. Um, and this dish, these dishes that you get for the money, you just simply cannot beat. You just can't beat them. They're, it, it's just a great deal. It Again, is a great deal. That's you Har- <laughs> Harry's poolside.com. Hope to see you there. Yeah. You couldn't go anywhere for dinner, 
uh, and get you, the it, beer and a meal and pay less. The, each one of those dishes would be anywhere from twelve to sixteen dollars a piece at that size. Yeah, as right, as a tapas right. as a tapas meal. That's exactly what they would be. You're getting six, and then you're getting it paired with beer. And it's not like they're giving you two tablespoons of beer. Pretty much, they pour as much as you want within <laughs> yeah. reason. Um, and it's just a damn good time. So, again, I hope to see you there. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Rich tips at the top of the hour. They're from Candace Rich. What? The, the story of uh, fish swimming in circles around the Florida Keys. Yeah, did you see that, Jack? No. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're ha- in the Keys there are fish that are just swimming around in circles, and they're dying. And they can't figure out what it's causing it. They know it's not red tide. But they think it's a, maybe a, a bacteria or a, um, a, not a virus, but a... Um... Well, it's a single cell creature that they've said normally lives on the bottom of the ocean and it releases a neurotoxin. And they're not sure if because, again, we've talked about this before, ocean sea surface temperatures are off the charts. Right. So they don't know if the sea surface temperatures are causing this single cell organism to explode in numbers but uh, at least three different universities, I believe also the Moat Marine, um, uh, Moat Marine down in like Sarasota, uh, FWC, they're now all banding together to try and figure out mm-hmm. because it's every kind of fish from right, that's what I was gonna swordfish. Say. That, that's the weird thing. It's, it's every single it's uh, every stingrays. Stingrays, grouper. Don't, don't you wish we could go back to the 90s where we could pretend global warm, warming was just a political philosophy? Look no, I wish we could go back to <laughs> the that? 70s. When the crying um, Indian PSA actually led to people giving an F about, right. you know, the garbage out the car windows. And he was actually an Italian, Italian and so know. they lied to us. They, they did. They always did. You know? Just like they told us the Marlboro <laughs> man was going to live. And that's exactly why I still litter. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we'll we'll keep an eye on this story right now. It's it's uh, it just the headline caught yeah. my eye, and it's heartbreaking. All right, 407-916-1041. I wanted to talk about this, but we don't have enough time, I don't believe. Um, Son of a bitch. Yeah, we don't have enough time. We'll have to get to, get to it a little bit later. But it's a documentary on a specific person that's coming out. It's a two-parter. Uh, it's going to be on um, – it's going to be on Apple Plus. And it's genuinely one of those the most interesting entertainers – in my entire lifetime, Spade Cooley. It's not Spade Cooley. Damn it. Do you know who it is for real, Jack? Have you seen it? Nope. Uh, no, I was going to I've seen something about Liberace. Steve Martin. Oh. Yeah, they're doing a, Apple Plus is doing a two-part uh, uh, documentary about Steve Martin. The question I was going to ask a little bit later in the show was, like, if you could pick one entertainer to, to have a, you know, like, documentary, like, who would you want to know more about? Because one of the interesting things about Steve Martin, he's a bit of an enigma even to people who know him. Like, uh, there's somebody in the book um, that's very close to him. It's a it's a woman, I can't remember who it is now, who says that worked with him through SNL and said, it was Tina Fey, who said, I've known Steve for years and I still don't know Steve. Right. Like, wow. You, you know him, you hang out, but you don't feel like you really know what makes him tick inside. And apparently this documentary is there to kind of pull that back a little bit and let you see what makes him tick. He is a painfully interesting guy. And I hear that um, in the in the context of the documentary, in a, during a conversation about John Candy, he gets pretty darn emotional because they had a pretty good connection. And even Steve Martin said that John Candy was a really unique, eccentric kind of guy that you had to kind of get to know a little bit to understand which I found amazing because the perception of John Candy is he's you know, simple, big, funny, loud Canadian. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not like that at all, actually. So I'm looking forward to that because I think Steve Martin is genuinely one of the most intriguing cats that ever got in front of a camera or a microphone. He is, if you haven't read his biography or his, um, it wouldn't autobiography? Be his, his autobiography called born standing up. I, it, it is for me, it's a must read. If you love this business in any way, shape or form it, as just a consumer of it, as a fan of it, whatever, but that guy's that guy's auto is so good. I've read it twice. It's so wow. good. Uh, I think it was in 06, 07 he put it out. And for a guy like that to talk about his own life, considering he's relatively humble and a bit of a shell, you know, doesn't really go out much, doesn't talk a lot, you know, just basically tours museums and plays his damn banjo, hangs out with Martin Short. You know, but it, but a really Sounds fascinating like my kind of guy. But a really fascinating <laughs> guy. All right. Yeah, they uh, interviewed him on CBS Sunday Morning this week. Yeah, did they for yeah. this to yeah. promote it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, very cool, man. Apple Plus. I'm going to check that out immediately. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Rich tips up next here on the Jim Colbert Show. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio one zero four point one. Tap the microphone and speak.
From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Heavy stop and go traffic still reported on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, especially by the major attractions exits. Still looking at problems southbound on the 429 due to a crash blocking the left lane near Plant Street, causing stop and go traffic from West Road. Looking at delays still westbound on the 408 due to an earlier crash reported near the Conway Toll Plaza. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Gatorland. Gatorland knows you need more animals, more gators, and more fun. And now, Florida residents get what they need for less. It's 1750 admission. Now through the end of March. We know what y'all need. Y'all need Gatorland. One for of more the information things- about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. One of the things I loved most about working with that mortgage guy, Don, when buying our house was how creative he was in finding a solution to our mortgage needs. So before you make a move to buy a new home or refinance your existing home, listen as that mortgage guy, Don, hosts the Home Loans Radio Show right here on Real Radio 104.1 from 9 to 1030 every Saturday morning. You can listen to the past 170 plus informative episodes at that mortgageguydon.com or wherever you download podcasts like the free iHeartRadio app. It's peace of mind at your fingertips, so don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at that mortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgageguydon.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A real crew capsule, a next generation space plane, a rocket booster that landed itself. Where will they inspire you to go? Mars, the rings of Saturn, new worlds, light years beyond. Choose your breathtaking journey into the future of space travel at Gateway, the deep space launch complex featuring Spaceport KSC, where real space meets real thrills. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Visit kennedyspacecenter.com for tickets. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Business owners. Had enough of this yet? Are you just done and ready to retire? Is money tight? Or maybe business is at an all-time high. You have options. Don't just walk away. We can help you sell, retire, and just relax no matter what your situation is. Hi, I'm Andy Cagnetta, and at Transworld Business Advisors, we've been selling businesses for over 40 years. And with offices located around the world, we have thousands of buyers ready to buy your business now. Don't wait until the last minute. 
or try to do it yourself. That is a recipe for disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833-SELL-FLA, or visit tworld.com. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit millsair.com. When couples come into International Diamond Center looking for engagement rings, they have lots of pictures from websites, from Pinterest, from designers they love, and 99% of the time, we have what they want. The brands that we carry are the brands the consumer asked for, the, the girls asked for, your future bride asked for. IDC owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC is always on the cutting edge because we partner with the world's leading designers, names like Takori, Viraggio, Henry Dossi, and dozens more. Fashions come and go, but why do some brands stay forever? It's because they stay relevant. IDC was chosen by these acclaimed designers, in most cases, as the exclusive retail partner in the region. We try to provide the best of the best at the most current merchandise in the market today. International Diamond Center, giving you access to the most sought-after brands in the world with a five-star shopping experience with no compromises. We want people to feel comfortable, relax, educate them, give them high quality for the right price. Store hours and more at shopidc.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Injured? Hire America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. Before you poo poo this idea, Arby's makes a damn good fish sandwich. I don't like their roast beef, but I was surprised. So go ahead and poo-poo it if you want to. I mean, it's really I, good. I've not had it. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a big fish sandwich guy. I mean, I think the only one I've ever had at a fast food place is McDonald's. Was that the mm, filet of fish, right? Yeah, yeah extra yeah. tartar I've sauce. I've never had that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I know it's, never tried. it's not bad. I wouldn't have the cheese on it. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, no. cheese and fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. That's a Wisconsin thing. They put cheese on everything. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want, is that your Cheerios, darling? <laughs> right. Would you like some whole milk and need cheese? Some, need some Colby Jack on that. Hell yeah! Come on now. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Text us seven seven zero three one. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Cheese curds. Jack is as well. Yeah, he is. All right, let's do rich tips. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Want to get rich? Of course you do. Well, Candace is here to give you a clue. These tips are for entertainment purposes and are not endorsed by the show station or company. That should cover our ass, right? Anyway, it's time for Rich Tips. Good and loud for Candace Rich. Yay! Woohoo! How are you doing? I'm doing great. I mean, it's been a rough week for everyone. It has, doing good. it has been a tough week. There's no good question there. God. I see that you're wearing your Kathy Padgett Will Kill You shirt, which is good. All right, well, it was appropriate for yeah, you. Yeah, you yeah, know? for sure. A little love. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, while you're avoiding the social media, um, I, I'm one of the other few admins on the gym members page, so somebody has to approve all these new members. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you're aware or not, but the membership question, there's just one question to join the page, and it says, you know, um, who are the members of the show? Oh, goodness. And people will list out. <laughs> So oh, God. the answers have been amazing this week, to say the least. Right, yeah, I can so, imagine. And lots look, of and, love for Ross. And by the way, we appreciate everybody. I mean, yes. Jack, Jack was on Jim Members last night reading it. I was there as well. I will comment a comment occasionally. Uh, the one comment that I did kind of... Uh, um, Reply to? Well, it just kind of hit me as, you know, somebody... Yeah, a lot of this, 
uh, has um, affected us greatly. But, you know, because we're still on the air, people don't really consider how this has affected us. You know, they only they consider how it's affected, you know, Ross, which is completely. And yeah, I mean, yeah. that's exactly how I think as well. Yeah, yeah. But, mm-hmm. the, you know, but as if we are immune to it. That's what I'm trying to say. Or it Man, moved this, on. Yeah, this has, I mean, every day of my life, the instant we get off the air. I mean, I catch myself looking at that chair every day. So, oh, it, yeah, it, constantly. It, it has and... just been, it's been, a, it's been a tough week, dude. And, I, you know, and again, mm-hmm. I, I, I hope we can acclimate to it. It's just been a tough week. And Ross used, yeah. to, Ross used to say, like, sometimes the uh, people will see us like cartoon characters. Right. right. Like, you know, th- that's how they view us. And Right. You know. Yeah. Somebody, somebody, and, and, and even fans of the show that I recognize from the texting service will send something that's a little bit cross. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I'm just texting back, wow, I really needed that, man. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate that. Why didn't you I mean, fire this person yeah, instead? God almighty. Oh, that's always nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. 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 And listen, so, real quick, Candace, thank you for, for admitting those pages. Yeah, yeah. And and having to go oh, through no, those posts because uh, you know, like I said earlier, I I talked to Ross for almost three hours on the phone last night. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's very just, proud of that. Well, you and you know, my first love, and, and I'm awesome. very proud of his pool. So I uh, yeah. will always be Ross. Right. That, 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 yeah. That. I know that, a lot of people are going to be bum that, rushing, uh, um, bum that, rushing uh, tomorrow night for the comedy show in Ocala for sure. That I hope so. Might be one of the funniest bits on yeah, it Ross. Was, it was that, great. That Candace still, made happen. Still has it. Right. I think he still has it. Well, I, if it, it is, it's in the shed. Yeah, yeah, it's rolled yeah. up in the shed. But yep. I believe the dead grass is still there. Yeah. 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 Now the lawn looks great, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Candace uh, uh, actually spearheaded the GoFundMe to get Ross the money for that pool, and that, that's how they got that pool. <laughs> yes. That was, that was so and, you know, so I've, I'll I'll leave it after this, but. That was my love for Ross started then because that was back in 2021, I think, 2020. It was in the heart of COVID when you couldn't get a pool. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going through some stuff at the time. And that was my distraction from what was going on in my life. And it was just a savior for me in a different way. And so I just really bonded with him over that. And then I kind of look at him as my little ginger stepbrother. (laughs) (laughs) We all do. Yeah. yeah. Look at him. He's like my little stepson. Uh, It's it's like I married some woman and then he dumped me on him on me and then left. (laughs) Exactly. Yes. So when we have a really crap week what's a really great thing to think about go spending money vacations yeah yeah okay, yes i'm spending money on vacations uh, all right. right so jack had mentioned um airline cards uh week before last and yes. i said i was going to get back to him on that and you mentioned that that's your one credit card that you pay an annual fee for i think southwest yes yeah and I, it's the one credit card i pay an annual fee for as well i use delta which is uh co-branded with american express airline cards in general if you fly at least once a year and you are um, loyal to one particular airline, they are the best deal for reward cards. They are the original reward credit card. The, uh, credit cards have been co-branding with airlines since airline tickets were one of the most expensive things to buy and people needed a credit card sometimes just to get the airline ticket. So it's but these relationships with banks have been going on forever and it's very profitable for both ends of that relationship. Airlines make over $25 billion a year in additional revenue from credit card relationships. Wow, Whoa. really? That's incredible. Yeah. yeah the so one... that's why you get so many perks for using those cards. Now, it, 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 did you just say, I just kind of blanked out a little bit. It, was it Southwest that he mentioned? Yeah. Southwest is what I know Jack has. Yeah. And yeah, that yeah. is and through. I, and I uh, chase. And I Chase. used all my points, so now I'm basically at zero right now. Right. I need to rebuild because I, it's really hard for me to spend money. Oh, you know? so, so that's the thing that people need to understand is these cards are banks' priorities. Um, they are their most profitable credit cards. This is where they make their most revenue and why they have the co-branding. And they give it gives you a little more um, leeway as the customer, as the card member. So when you have that annual fee and you call and you because you're gonna, I'm gonna close my account. I'm not gonna pay this annual fee. That's this. I used to take these calls. These were the calls I got, and we are trained to sell the benefits of that card and why we want you to stay with it. And usually people just want you to get the get rid of the annual fee. Well, that's never an option. But they might say, well, I can give you a statement credit of $100. Well, same thing. But okay, we just can't call it. We're giving you back that fee. But there's other things you can do too. For instance, I have the Delta card. And at my annual fee, I know I'm going to re-up, but I want something for it. You're giving all your new members 75,000 miles for joining the card. What are you going to give me that I've right. been here 10 years and I'm staying? Right, right, right. And that's what you should call and say. You should call and say, hey, I've been here 10 years, I'm staying, and I'm giving these offers for other cards, and they should have an offer for you. These are the cards where they should have something for you. But, Candice, can mm-hmm. I get both? 
can I, because on my last time I'm like, okay, I'm going to cancel the Southwest card. I'm going to save $100 on the year, and I'll just run these miles down. And when I call, they're like, well, we can waive that. And so I'm like, okay, I have it another year. So when this renewal comes up in August, can I pull the same thing and then say, and I also want 50,000 miles. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? That's so many people look at it. Why not ask? Ask. Um, worst they're going to do is say no, and you're never going to talk to that person again anyway. Yeah. But there's always something there for them to offer. For It usually has a spending threshold with it. It might be, you know, would you like an additional 10,000 miles if you spend $2,000 on your card in the next three months? Right, 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 right. And by the way, I wanted to give you a heads up. When I got my Apple card, what, like last August? Is that when it was, guys? Around then, or was it? I thought you started using it in June. It could have been August. Could have been ten years ago with you. We're not sure. Yeah, June. I, I, look, trust me. I'm asking for help because my my hard drive's fragging. Uh, so um, uh, it probably so, says it right on yeah, the card. It's too. fragging right up. So so June will be next month. So in one year, how? What's the most you've ever gotten back on your Apple card in one year? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, ju- you- just mine. I oh, I do very well. Yeah. I think probably 1500 Okay, I'm not quite. I've probably gotten more than But you run a lot more cash through that thing than I do. We we don't run everything through there yet. Like, we don't run our mortgage or anything through there yet. But but um, even with just using it for normal stuff and stopping mm-hmm. using my debit card, $450. Uh, and it's not even June yet. Yeah. So I've got two more months, and I've made almost, I'm going to wind up making over $500 of free money. I have 250 bucks on it right now. I already spent the other money uh, before that before the golf tournament. But I'm telling you, man, already uh, 400 bucks. I'll make $500 this year just by using my card from Apple and not using my debit card. So on behalf of Candace, let me ask you this follow-up question. Did you open up the Apple savings account so though that the money back actually goes in and earns 4.5% APR? Didn't do that yet, but we're going to. Ah. That, now, now, it's funny. I have a question for Tired Candace. Now, is, is there a limit on how much you can put in that savings account? Is there a I limit? I believe there is. Is there a limit they'll pay that four four and a half percent? We just sold a house, and we're not going to be making a move for a <laughs> That's while. Right, you're going to be sitting on that cash for a minute. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you know, we got a got a lump of money here, and I told my wife, I said, you out of a kind of fun, uh, 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 comically, comedically, I said we should throw that and instead of sit, let it sitting in our account until we buy our next place. We should throw that in that savings account because Absolutely. I can I can do the math. Yeah. And it's a bunch of free money. Yeah. Is it, 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 okay. It, the last it went up a little while back when we were talking about it from four point three five to five point uh, to four point five zero. So right it's, now. it's four and a half, four right and a half percent. Oof. Yeah. Oh God. Let's go. Pretty nice. Yes, definitely throw that money in there. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's uh, I, I, it, are you sure there's no cap or no cap on what they'll what they'll give you the percentage on? That would seem. I don't believe there that is. That seems kind of crazy. I know a couple of people that are sitting on a bunch of cash and in no savings accounts. Really? Yeah. yeah, they so can't. I, I mean, I, I'm not talking seven figures. I, I couldn't speak to that. Um, but, hey, maybe I'll get an answer and text it to you. Yeah, yeah, do that. Because that? I'm interested in that uh, for sure because it's only going to be there for a short period of time. But either way, I mean, it's better than just sitting in a damn savings account earning 0.1%. That's for damn sure. Right. No, I agree with you yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah. I just didn't know if it was going to be able to do that. If you you know, you know drop a little bit of money in there, if they go, oh, no, we don't, well, that's not the plan. <laughs> no, absolutely. We moved some over there real quick when they changed the interest rate. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Uh, well, thank we you. We moved a bulk of our savings over to Apple. Yeah, yeah. What other card? Do you have cruise cards still? So I, I think I told you before, that was the one card that I got the letter on in the mail that says you haven't used it in a year. Oh, yeah. Their rewards programs, typically, I don't know of any that I've heard that are great. I don't know. I've never heard anyone say I got a free cruise um, with all these points on my cruise card. Yeah, that's usually, you, um, get, you get that by spending money on the ship. Right. Right, right. And, if you spend a or certain booking of, the cruise directly. Right, right, right. If you spend money in the casino at a certain level, they will approach you. You'll get a letter under your door telling well, you you're totally going to free, yeah, a free they, cruise. They get free cruises <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, it's always good seeing you, Candice. Give a good and loud for Candice Rich. Yay! Yay! Happy Easter. And again, if you miss any Happy of this, uh, go to the goods at jimcorporatelive.com, and we'll have it right there for sure. Candice, have a great weekend. Uh, real quick, you. Texter says the cap is two hundred and fifty thousand on the yeah. Apple account. Oh, it is two hundred fifty. That's what the texter says. Oh, very nice. Mm. You'll get there by uh, the end of the weekend. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, Candace might uh, question that. I'm, really? I'm curious. I thought I, I was thinking it might be half a million, but we'll see. All right. Well, I'll I mean, look. Hey, right, if, if it, I believe it. Shoot me a text, please. I will. All right, there you go. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Text us seven seven zero three one. Back in just one sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1.
104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Slow traffic continues this afternoon on I-4 in the Orlando area for those traveling east and westbound by the major attractions exits as well as through downtown. Still seeing delays southbound on the 429 due to an earlier crash that was reported near Plant Street. Looking at continued police activity on Pine Hills Road that has closed all north and southbound lanes between Colonial Drive and Silver Star. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection, like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Hey, everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at the Philatoski Eye Institute. If you've asked anyone who experienced LASIK surgery, they'll certainly tell you it's the best thing they ever did. The only problem they'll tell you is they should have done it way earlier. That's exactly what my father-in-law said should have done this way way before if you struggle with bad eyesight you don't have to what are you waiting for get with the filatoski eye institute and get that free lasik consultation find out exactly what the filatoski eye institute can do for you and it could not be easier to make your appointment simply do this text 1041 to the number 868686 start that journey to better vision with the filatoski eye institute these guys have all the experience you want they've performed over 65,000 lasik procedures they have the latest state of the art technology they get you the best results and they have financing as well 24 month interest free financing is available just text 1041 to the number 868686 schedule that free lasik consultation find out what the filatoski eye institute can do for you your path to better vision begins right now Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Jim Colbert Show question of the day. You find it in our YouTube chat. Just go to YouTube, search Jim Colbert Show on Real Ra- uh, at Real Radio, and you can uh, vote in our question. We'll talk about it at the end of the program. It's brought to you by WeAreNotTheBanks.com. When you need a home, you need to get a mortgage. When you need a mortgage, you go to WeAreNotTheBanks.com. Brad Siebert and the team, this is what they do. They're not the banks. They're better than their banks because they're so focus is mortgages, whether it's getting you the mortgage for your next home or maybe refinancing the home where you live. Maybe it's time to take advantage of the equity you've built up over the years. The guy who can help is Brad. That's the guy who helped me when I needed my refi. I went to wearenotthebanks.com, went through the process there. He let me know everything I needed every step of the way, fast, easy, got a great rate. He can help you just like he helped me, whether it's a refi or a brand new home for all your mortgage needs. The website is wearenotthebanks.com. Get started today. NMLS ID number 66247, equal housing opportunity. At Nissan, we make cars the thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself today. Shop nissanusa.com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor. April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. Located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and savor. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. 
There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasismeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Beat the buzzer and get closeout pricing on all remaining 2023 models at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at one 747 free That's one 747 3733 You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch at The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Colbert crew, greetings, greetings. Happy Easter, you know? Yeah, with regards to the whole um, celebrating the Good Friday and all of that, back home in Jamaica, yeah, today would be a national holiday. Everything is closed down. All government stuff, all private sector, public sector, everything closed down today. And the same thing for Monday because of the whole, you know, the Good Friday, Easter Monday kind of thing uh, with the death and resurrection thing. Interesting. You know, I, I, I will tell you, just out of pure ignorance, um, I, I did not know that Jamaica had a large Christian contingency. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did not know that. Very conservative country, actually, yeah, yeah, in a lot yeah, of yes. ways. People right, always yeah. think that they're partiers, but they're not. It's Just, not. Bob Marley was more of a of a, of a prophet, and uh, you know, in some cases, than he was all about you know smoking weed or anything. Yeah, yeah I think that's just part of the Rastafari religion, right? It is. Is, is the yeah. uh, is that? Jack spent a lot of time there. I have. There's a, a big Chinese contingent as well. You have a, a Chinese Jamaican. You know, I, I, funny enough, I do have something that kind of goes along with that. I, I do want to cover one thing first, but I do have a question about that very thing. Mm-hmm. Um, 407-916-1041. By the way, I also love reading the texting service when people use the stuff they hear on our show uh, to make their lives better. We do yeah. offer a lot of really good clients that that do cool stuff, but it's it's cool to hear that people listen to Candace and then make some moves, and it really works out well for yeah. them, whether it be char- you know, uh, shifting money into an account that's going to earn them some money while it's sitting there instead of just in your savings account doing nothing. And, you know, and like Scott said this past Thursday, you know, people who have a little bit of money rarely keep a lot of liquidity. They rarely do that because that means that money isn't making money for you. And to have large chunks of money sitting around really isn't advantageous. You should always have a little slush fund and maybe maybe be able to liquefy money if you need it or get to it. But, I mean, it's not, to not have anything over a few thousand dollars sitting in one of these savings accounts earning 4.5% is silly. Because the savings account almost every bank is like not even 1%. Yeah. So you're making no money. I mean, and it could be earning money for you. And really, the effort it takes is zero. Um, it's just kind of opening up an account and putting the money in there. And uh, people are doing that. Let me ask you something, Mr. Uh, The effort it takes is zero. This has been out for several months, at least half a year. Why haven't you done it yet? Well, because I am lazy. Um, (laughs) Well, to be honest with you, I got so much other stuff going on that it's hard to remember things like that. So let's say the effort is like next to zero. Next to zero. (laughs) Look, Look, I'll tell you straight up. I'm a POS sometimes. I completely just check out and don't do anything occasionally in my life. 
I go through swaths of time like that. And then there are other times I, you know, I just can't stop working. Uh, I remember that, Mecca 98. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Um, let's see what I was going to ask you guys. Um, oh, here's one. Um, so what, guess what movie opened in Japan yesterday? Godzilla. No. Think, think of how odd it would be for this movie to open in Japan. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer's the answer. There you go. So interestingly, I see this on the BBC today and it said, it said, um, Oppenheimer opens in Japan. And And just for about four seconds. I said to myself, okay, and? And then it hit me. Boom! Uh, I should maybe <laughs> like, another choice of words would have been appropriate. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Too it, soon. It, Jimmy, too it, soon. It, was, it hit me like a bomb. What do you think? <laughs> and what they did was is they interviewed people as they came out of the theater to find out what the Japanese perspective of the Oppenheimer movie was. Nice. Interestingly, how do you think it went? This is only like four or five people they talked to briefly, but what do you think? what do you think the perception of the movie Oppenheimer was to a Japanese audience. And by the way, for people who don't remember, we dropped that on them. Two. Yeah, two of them on there. I I think probably more positive than negative. And Mm. I I would agree because it really, it it brings back the, we just accept the fact nowadays we've, yeah, we dropped the bomb It ended the war. We move on. uh, We won the war, you know, so everything worked out so we don't really question the decision at the time to drop the bomb because that's history so when you relive it again it brings up those questions should it have been done should have yeah. you know killing hundreds of thousands of civilians 170,000 people or something like that a civil uh, many civilians uh, was that the the right move to the answer. to to bring a, a, a the end of a war that now when you look back uh, they say oh you know it was ending anyway they were you know it was it, it was about to end anyway and we wouldn't have had to do a full scale invasion so those questions I think when you raise the questions you raise the conversation and for that reason I say. They're, it's getting positive reviews in Japan. Okay, go ahead. What are you going to say? Uh, well, also because, you know, with, with the creation of the movie, I learned something completely new with the atomic bomb that I had never learned about or heard about when I was in school, and that was the downwinders. Oh, yeah, the people who were downwind of it who caught, of the, the, tests. Who caught the fallout. Yeah, exactly, who weren't warned that it, the nuclear testing was going on. The bombings killed between 130 and 226,000 people. That's why I chose 175. It's almost in the middle there uh, because I remember 175 is the number I remember. So um, the answer is this. Uh, they did not view it positively. Damn it. Um, <laughs> now, here's the thing. It wasn't like a bitter thing, like I can't believe, but a number of the elder, the older people, uh, that were spoken to who are a little bit closer to him, maybe generationally a lot closer to the happening, maybe had family. Right. I'm guessing that the, the yeah. chances are some of them did have family or at least have heard the stories from family uh, about the times post the dropping of the atomic bomb. But they said that they were particularly dis- – one lady said she was particularly disgusted with how they framed the dropping of it as to save lives. Most of them said – that they were saddened by the movie because of what it did to their culture and their land, yeah. but also understood. But the one thing that they said was um, they it was interesting to hear the American perspective on how and why that had to happen. Uh, none of them like cursed America. It wasn't like I hate America now or, you know, we're, you know, going back to, you know, I'm kamikaze in tomorrow or anything like that. Right. They were basically just saying it was much like people here in the States, probably a bit of a history lesson uh, to the people who went to see Oppenheimer. Yeah. Uh, much like Deb. She just learned about the downwinders. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of the perspective. But I did find that very interesting. If you want to see that story, I think it's on the BBC uh, dot com today. There's a lot of stories on the BBC, so you have to kind of sift through it. But Or you could just search it on Google. But it is a really interesting piece, and it has video uh, as the people come out. The reporters asking, you know, what did you think about Oppenheimer? And to hear Japanese citizens, you know, talk about uh, such a um, catastrophe and such a defining moment for their, I mean, not just for the the world, world. but especially for their country, because they had to deal with, I mean, no pun intended, quite literally the fallout. And and it's, to be clear, dropping the bomb, 
didn't save lives. It saved American lives. Right, right, right. But because that, it per, we didn't have to invade the the continent. Right, and I guess and their people wouldn't have had the to island. fight and go through that whole thing, and it would yeah. the war wouldn't have extended on. God yeah. only knows. I guess yeah. what would have happened at that point. I know that it was waning at that moment as well. That was the exclamation point to say stop. I mean, I get that, but in that same sense, hearing it from a Japanese citizen was very interesting. Yeah. Um, and if you want to see that video again, I think it's BBC.com. Uh, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Um, and the other thing I wanted to ask you guys is this. Now, you made this comment about uh, Jamaicans a second ago. Let me ask you guys. Now, I know we don't all get around Orlando all the time. I've been in a few places. Where are the major, where do the major ethnic groups set up in the city of Orlando? Well, you've got little Saigon. Well, okay, yeah, and I was going to say, because there's a few I know, but I want, but I know none of the others. Like, here's the thing. Um, Pine Hill certainly has its uh, population of African Americans, for sure. I mean, we, we've known that forever. But what people don't say is, is a large portion of those guys and, and girls are ha- Haitian and Jamaican. So I know there's a massive population of Haitians and Jamaicans in Pine Hills. I also know there's a massive population of Serbs in the Castleberry Winter Springs area, right? We know there are a lot of Hispanics in Poinciana and that area down there. But are there other? Is there a German contingency in Orlando? Is there a? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? I mean, this is such a diverse area here, and all those groups of people, because of their culture and their language, usually wind up setting up near each other. But I mean, I don't know where all those are. I find that very interesting. I don't know if the Germans are living together, but I do know if you go to Sanford and try and get a table at the Willow Tree, you're going to be waiting for an hour and a half. (laughs) Minimum Germans. (laughs) That place is full right now with drunk Germans. Uh, But I I place is always packed. I always kind of wondered that. I was like, where where do all those groups that come here that maybe aren't from Florida or maybe even from the states, but when they come to certain areas, like I'll give you another one. Uh, A lot of Vietnamese in Pine Hills. And a lot of Vietnamese down in the Mills 50 area, little, you know, little Saigon. You're just, right. But there's a, a large contingency. But the thing is, I think those businesses are down there, but I'm not sure that they live down there. There is a gigantic population of Vietnamese people that live in Pine Hills. They've been there since the 80s. Um, and if you go to, if you used to go to Evans, uh, Evans High School, which was the, the high school in Pine Hills, and you looked at the yearbook, there were so many Nguyen's which is N-G-Y-E-N or whatever. There were so many of those. It was like an entire page <laughs> of people. And I had heard through the grapevine um, that the that, that Vietnamese culture in the late 70s and 80s post-Vietnam War would send, they would gather their money in a family or a group. They would send the most able person to the States, the, the one that could speak the best, the one that had the most you know, education. They would set up a small business whatever business that may be, right? You can run the stereotypes if you want. This particular family I knew set up a small buffet restaurant. And then one by one, they would send enough money over to bring the entire family over. And that's been happening in Pine Hills for three decades. So, and I know there's a big Greek contingency because the Greek Fest, which is right across the street from us here, is absolutely standing room only for three straight days in the spring. Right. Right. But I don't know. I mean, I, but I didn't know if there were any other groups like that. But I think that's kind of fascinating with Orlando. There are these little enclaves of of people from different parts of the world um, that live in this city, and they do live in certain areas, so they're close to each other. And it, and it, like it, and then I say, why would you know? Right, right, right? Be, right. Because unless there is something that would draw you in, and because when you mentioned the Greek Fest, I remember, oh, yeah, they used to <laughs> advertise. We used to, uh, yeah. there was an advertiser who was uh, big in that, uh, and I know, I, I is it possible Phil Atoski? It may have been. I mean, I don't, I don't know. He's not, I don't think he's Greek. All right. I, I rem- there was an advertiser that I know that was a, a, a big thing for them. So I remember we had some connection with it, and that's how, that's how other people end up finding out, you know, right. through the, you know, the basic form of advertising. Right. You know, it's like, oh, it's like, that's how you learn about something happening that you might not ne- know right next door. Yeah, yeah. They said a lot of Indians are um, uh, people from India and Muslims live in Lake Marion Sanford. And there are a couple of people who confirm that. And then here's the other one. So I don't know if you guys know this. Are you guys familiar with a particular skill that Brazilians are known to have? Do you do you know anything about it? Beach volleyball is no, a pretty high no, up there. A, a working skill. Oh. They have they have a specific skill that's work, that, buddy. That, that Brazilians are known about 
are known for. And I know for a fact that when we had a when we had the the big glut of building here uh, before the crash, that when they couldn't find workers here for this particular skill in the U.S. Masonry, that masonry is the answer. Really? Yeah, dude. These guys are apparently the best stone layers in the damn world. Oh, and wow. we and there was this major influx of people coming in from Brazil to do all this building and stone work that the U.S. had going specifically in Florida. And then somebody just said that out in the Hunters Creek area, there's a bunch of South Americans that live in that area down there. I find that very cool because all throughout the U.S. this happens. Isn't there? There's a large German contingency in Wisconsin, right? Uh, yeah. And well, I, well, most of the state. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's German. It's Polish. <laughs> That's it's crazy. Czechoslovakian. <laughs> That's how you could spot my one Colombian mother in the snow. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and that's also why, like, you guys Funny. may think, yeah, because, I mean, like, the, the, <laughs> the what'd you do that's new, the the fluffy with the how to identify Latinos by their accents thing, yeah. was because I never had any experience with that till we moved to San Diego because not a whole lot of Latin culture there in Green Bay. Right. Back yeah. when I was living there. So I only heard one accent. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to me, all Spanish sounded like my mother. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is wild, though, because as I was looking around the city, I was like, you know, Orlando is so diverse. We're such a transient city where people come in, they see what it's like, then they just set up shop and wind up staying, and then they just go, hey, the weather's great, come on down. And then the next thing you know, you have these large swaths of people from different parts of the earth or world or maybe even the U.S. that live right here in Central Florida. Yeah, but think of uh, most states have this. I mean, you yeah, have yeah. a lot of uh, a big Somali uh, population up in Detroit. Uh, some of the largest. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, they even do call to prayers. Do they really? Yes. So you'll hear the, the uh, call exactly at, you know, several times during the day. They even sell clocks that will chime when it's call of, you know, call of the prayers. Wow. So I know over in Tarpon Springs, we talked about this before. Huge Greek. A massive yeah, Greek population. Yeah, because they did the sponge diving. Exactly. In Wisconsin, outside of the Europeans, right, the Germans, there was also a large Hmong population. Uh, I'm sorry? Hmong. And I believe they're from Laos. Really? Yes. Yeah. And so when, and now, and, and culturally, it was very difficult for them to assimilate in Wisconsin. Um, you know, Midwest can be great, but it can also be a right, yeah. pretty racist place. Yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you're kidding, huh? Yeah, it's not <laughs> like we don't this, have a history of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I lived it. Yeah. But, yeah. but, you know, on the West Coast, you know, I, and, and again, I don't know. I, I know that the Eastern Europeans and stuff, they come here. Because a lot of it's just, Japanese on the West Coast. But we have, there are so many Chinese and Japanese on that West Coast. When oh, we, when, so when, many. When we were over in Seattle and going up and down the coast there, yeah. man, I mean, you'd go to downtown San Francisco or any of those areas, and it, it would be odd to see someone who wasn't Chinese or Japanese, specifically Chinese there, though. A lot of Asian influence in that area. Uh, but amazing. I mean, and I love the fact that they bring those cultures here. You know, I was talking to Fiaz about about the bit, you know, and and I, you know, all the food all throughout Central Florida. He goes, "Buddy, you have no idea." And he says, "You simply have no idea." You know, the best the best beef patty in Orlando is in Pine Hills. On that, you know, for as long as I remember, it was on the corner of Silver Star and Pine Hills Road. There used to be a pawn shop there that was there for years, and it was a little strip center on the other side of it. And just on the other side of it, it was it was so and so's. I don't remember the guy's name. It was called Patties and Ting. <laughs> Patties and ting. Patties and ting, you know. Patties and ting, you know. And you're making and that place, dude. <laughs> Have a let refreshing me, ting. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if, if you went there between eleven thirty and one, you weren't getting within thirty feet of that joint. I bet it was swimming with rastas out there just getting those patties. And you didn't know other mm. people too. They love them. They were so well made and so authentic. Oh, I love Jamaican. Oh my patties. god, dude. I love that jerk chicken over rice. Yeah. You could give me that. That's all. a good time. And that when you get it there, it's different. It's like when you go into um when you go into Indian restaurants here in America, mm. specifically ones here, and you order vindaloo, which is known to be a very spicy dish. I, who, do you eat a vindaloo? So I eat vindaloo. I love vindaloo. But what they that's one of the few dishes they won't even give you the option to make it not spicy. No. They just tell you straight up. The other dishes like korma or uh tikka masala, they'll hey, they'll ask you what spice level? And you always tell them medium because if you get that Indian spice, get yeah. ready. Your eyes are coming out. Yeah. I mean, it will melt your face. Um, but I love that food. I love everything about those those cultures. It's yeah. so great. Our friends over there at Over Rice uh, with that Filipino, Asian. Yeah. Kind of, it's so good. I'm starving. <laughs> Is there any beer in here? We have any beer in the house? I, I might be able to find one. Scare me up a beer. I'm ready to get drunk. All right, 407-916-1041. <laughs> text us 77031. Load them up. Let's do trivia. We have a prize. 
Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. Washington quarterback Michael Penick Jr. held his pro day on Thursday and wowed scouts. Penick showed off an excellent 4-4-6-40. If you told me Michael could give me three years of consistency in winning, I know he had college injuries. I take him, and a great majority of the league would as well. Michael Penix Jr. on a rookie deal in Seattle could be the best value you'll get in this NFL draft. I'm Colin Cowherd. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more. 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. You know, make the most of your spring break by visiting the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. This is the only place where you can meet an astronaut, touch a moon rock, stand nose to nose with the real spatial Atlantis. Plenty more. Such an awesome place. We love the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex here at the Jim Colbert Show. Launch yourself into bold new territories this spring. Do it there at a down-to-earth price. Blast off this spring Make your vacation the absolute best at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex at an out-of-this-world price and experience. Take advantage of this new two-day ticket offer. Check it. Only $45 per day, and it gives you maximum flexibility for the entire family. It's Kennedy Space Center. Get your tickets and information at kennedyspacecenter.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands in grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Trigger, and Napoleon. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. And now they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine dollars and up. It's Tools Ace, 13 convenient locations in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin, just open. Or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. R.C. Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 188-ADMINUTE. First responders, Twin Peaks would love to thank you for your service. And to say thank you, they offer discounts all day, every day. Visit Twin Peaks in uniform to score 50% off your food and non-alcoholic drinks with your ID. Stopping by on your day off, they still offer 20% off of food and non-alcoholic drinks out of uniform as well. Thank you for all that you do and stop by for Twin Peaks Eats, Drinks, scenic views do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation chuck mcdowell founder of wesley financial group has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free call 800-919-3200 that's 800-919-3200 800-919-3200.
Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Now back to the Jim Colbert Show. Holy crap. That really just happened, huh? That was a talk back. Well, right. it, is holy, it is Holy Week, okay. <laughs> and it did sound a little bit like crap. All right, there you go. All right, 407-916-1041. So, holy crap. Text us at 77031. Welcome. Stop it. Stop it. By the way, if you have yet to get your ticket to the Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill gig we have coming up April 6th, do that now. That's next Saturday, by the way. <laughs> Uh, you can do harryspoolside.com. I don't even know how many tickets left. I think the last we checked, there was like 10 or 12 or so. Uh, grab it now. Again, only $70 a person. Good ass time. I hope to see you there. Harryspoolside.com. Welcome back. I'm Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is here with the Jackie Sack. What's in the Jackie Sack today, Jackson? Uh, all aboard. Chugga, chugga. Choo, choo. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Slow in, your roll there. Jackety jack, jackety jack. <laughs> in the Jackie Sack today. Again, as we have all week, this is our final day of it, as far as I know. A pair of tickets to see Orlando City SC take on the New York Red Bulls. This is actually happening tomorrow night at Inter and Coast Stadium. Orlando City coming off of their first win of the MLS season. Look to make it number two against the Red Bulls from Harrison, New Jersey, by the way. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so there's another prize in the uh, Jackie Sack. A pair of tickets to see Stone Temple Pilots and live, the band live. That's the Jubilee Tour, and they have a special guest at Soul Asylum. It all happens August 28th at the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater. That's in Tampa, and that prize could be yours if you win JCS Trivia today. Which is always brought to you by the Jackie Sack, I mean. I love it. Uh, Sento Family Moving and Storage. Got a move coming up? Hey, call them. They can handle it. Doesn't matter if your move is local or mm-hmm. long distance, residential, or even commercial. Just make sure you mention the Jim Colbert Show because that's going to get you a discount. So book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O Moving.com. That was one hell of a quick clickety-clack. Back to you. Thank you, Deb. I appreciate that very much. Jack, sure. who, who was first today? Oh, that would be Patrick. Patrick right up top. Patrick, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Want to play a little game with us? Absolutely. Let's do it then. Game show. All right, Patrick, this is a really easy game. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of these answers I made up, buddy. It's a lie. If you can smell that one out, if you can sniff it out of there, I will send you over to the Jackie Sack and possibly out to an Orlando City soccer match or a Stone Temple Pilots concert. Are you ready? I am ready. Here we go, buddy. On this day in 1918, founder of the largest retail business in the world, Walmart was born. Of course, Sam Walton. That's right. Here are three fun facts about Walmart and one lie that your mom and pop shop cannot compete with. Hmm. Number one, Walmart employs about 2.2 million people globally or about the population of Iceland. Number two, in 1987, Walmart owned the largest satellite system in the U.S. It was launched so all stores could communicate with headquarters. Number three, Walmart is sued about 3,500 times a year. Oh, geez. Or lastly, each year, most Walmart stores will sell through their entire inventory 27 times. Which of those is a lie? Uh, Number one. No, that's true, dude. Walmart employs 2.2 million people. The same population is Iceland or Houston, Texas. Damn. That, my friends, is a whole bunch of Walmart peeps. Yeah. Uh, Jack? Rick is up next. There you go. Rick, number two. How you doing, Rick? I'm doing great. How about y'all? Good, boss. Whoa. We're talking about Walmart. Which one of these is a lie? Number one, in 1987, Walmart owned the largest satellite system in the U.S. It was launched so all stores could communicate with headquarters. Number two, Walmart is sued about 3,500 times a year. Or lastly, each year, Walmart, each year, most Walmart stores will sell through their entire inventory 27 times. I'm going to give it a shot at the first one also. No, dude, that's absolutely true. Uh, And I learned that today. 
Walmart had a satellite system, guys, in 1987. It was the biggest satellite system the entire country had, even more than our government. So they report. And it was only to, <laughs> and it was only so they can communicate with uh, with headquarters at Bentonville in Arkansas. True story. That that scares me on so many different levels. It, it is. Who's next? Oh, that would be Chris. Chris, let's get oh, Chris I love that name. right there on line Aww. three. Aww. Chris, how you doing? Good. I love Deborah. Also, it's a great name. Hey, I like that. Hey, I got a love connection here, all right, buddy? Uh, <laughs> and his t- wife's name is Susan. You get a 50-50 <laughs> shot. We're talking about Walmart. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, Walmart is sued about 3,500 times per year. Or lastly, each year, most Walmart stores will sell through their entire inventory 27 times. Um, I think they get sued more, so I'll go with the first one. You're a winner, buddy. Oh, Let's go. there you go. Hey, 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 Chris. Before we put you on hold, Chris, how many times do you think Walmart is actually sued per year? Oh, man. So you, you put 35 as the lie, 3,500. Let's go 10,000. Now it's 5,000. Wow. And Walmart is sued 5,000 times on an average year. Good job, Chris. I'm going to put you on hold. Yeah. Enjoy your prize, but boss. But wait a minute. That, and that means, because I thought for sure there is no way just about every Walmart in the country sells through their entire inventory 27 times. So more than twice a month. Their entire inventory? <laughs> Do you think they have more lawyers working for them than greeters? <laughs> that is an excellent question. That is a good question. 1.1 million of the 2.2 million yeah, yeah. are just attorneys. Here we go. How about these? Uh, we'll get to the top of the hour here in one second. Uh, the largest Walmart in the country is in what state? This is going to be a shocker. I think most people would think it would be in a certain area of the country. California. No. Connecticut. Closer in Albany, New York, and measures 260,000 square feet. And just to give you an example, that's about 100,000 more square feet than a normal Super Walmart. It's that big. The single best-selling item at Walmart is? I think we've done this one before. Yeah, I don't remember. You don't remember it? It, Uh, uh, Is it it a broom? It's a food item. Oh. Oh, Soda. No, that's a great guess. That's can I tell you? That's exactly what I would have guessed. Really? I would have guessed like Pepsi, Coke, Mountain Dew, something like that. Okay. Yeah. How about chips? No. No milk. That's bananas. Oh, really? That's right. I do remember the, the that. Number Not one a- selling yeah. item in Walmart across yeah. the planet is bananas. There you go. That is bananas. How about this? Uh-huh. Walmart <laughs> has one of the best education employment benefits packages in the entire country. What? For about a dollar a day, you can enroll in Purdue or the University of Florida and many other universities to get degrees in cybersecurity, computer science, healthcare, admin, and more. Oh, that's cool. It is, like, very, very good. That is very cool. Uh, the shape at the end of the Walmart logo represents what? What is the shape at the end of the logo? I'm trying to remember. It's like a little star-looking thing. Yeah, yeah that's what I... Uh, what, what is that? It's a burst. It is it is a burst. Yeah, yeah. Looks like that. Yeah. Almost like a flower sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think it is? Sun? That's a great guess. Matter of fact, can I tell you something? That was going to be the fake answer. Oh, really? I was going to write that as the fake answer. It's not the sun, but I thought I could sell that. Sam Walton's yeah. backside. It's a. It represent funny. It represents a spark. In other words, the spark of uh, the spark of um, ingenuity, innovation. Yeah, the spark of inspiration oh, for him to stretch. open the first store. That's exactly what it oh, is. Oh, wow! And then lastly, in preparation for an incoming storm, and I guess here in Florida it would be a hurricane more than likely. I guess that could be whatever it is. Across the country. Tornadoes. Snow. Yeah. A lot of snow this year. They're dealing a lot with that out west again. What what do you think when Walmart knows there's a storm coming to any part, we'll just call it here in Florida, if there's a hurricane coming, what do they load up on more than any one thing? Toilet paper. No. Water. No. Ice. No. Generators. No. Leather gloves. It's another food product. Oh. uh, Oh, Doritos. You love them. Bunions. Jack loves them. He doesn't eat part of it, though, because he's a Nazi. Peanut butter and jelly? Strawberry Pop-Tarts. Strawberry Pop-Tarts? The number wait, one wait, thing wait, wait, wait. that Walmarts stock up on when bad weather is going to hit is strawberry Pop-Tarts. Back up, back up, back up. You don't eat the crust on a no, Pop-Tart? I do. I don't uh, know why he's saying that. I thought you were, oh, okay. I thought you were a crust Nazi. No. That who's a, who's the crust communist. Nazi? I thought we had a crust Nazi on the on the show. 
I don't think Russ or Ross was that way. No, well, Ross was not. Well, if it's not you that. guys, then yeah, it yeah, would no. have to be. Yeah, because I hate the crust. I'm the crust Nazi. Oh, oh right. you are a communist. 407 916 4141. All right. I'm going to ask you if you've ever seen a nude picture of yourself. There's a reason why. What? We'll do that next. Got to go. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. Slow traffic continues this afternoon for those traveling on I-4, both east and westbound on the interstate in the Orlando area. Heaviest delays reported between Sand Lake and Central Florida Parkway, as well as between US-27 and the 429. Drivers can expect both north and southbound delays on the turnpike today for those traveling between Kissimmee Park Road and 192. If you run into any traffic problems, just make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection, like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands and grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, and Napoleon. Those last two are total pro action. Not to mention they have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney as well. Those cook a damn good steak, by the way. Uh, they also have great outdoor furniture, Hollywood. This stuff is beautiful, virtually indestructible, will not fade in the Florida sun. Service techs specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine dollars and up. These guys got you covered everywhere. Plus 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, including including that brand new store in Hamlin. Or you can just shop online. Do that at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now, available at harryspoolside.com slash harry's sip and savor. Classic Rock Legends Fog Hat live in Orlando June 9th at the Plaza Live. All the hits. Slow Ride, Fool for the City. Third Time Lucky and more. Tickets and more information at AXS.com. At International Diamond Center, nobody tells our story better than our own non-commissioned diamond experts. In the 17 years that I've been in this industry, I have never been able to offer my clients the things that I can offer at IDC. What's best about our company is that we have access to far more options than most retailers typically do. None of us are paid on commission at all, so our interests are pure. We always encourage people to shop around because we know that our prices are good enough. You will be back. It's not a selling environment at all. We want to know what's most important to you and help you get there. We take care of your ring for life. We invite you in as an extension of our family. It's about helping each client achieve what they want to become a hero. When we approach it in such a straightforward manner, it's refreshing. They almost look at you with a sigh of relief, like you take the mystery away. The merchandise that we have is unmatched. The prices that we have are incredibly competitive. Our quality is unsurpassed. International Diamond Center. Discover the difference. Our people. Get store hours directions and more at shopidc.com by now you've heard all of our ads america's largest injury law firm it means that when you hire us you get a legal army when it comes to law size matters morgan and morgan visit for the for an office near you this earful of real radio is brought to you by tools ace hardware Life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is 
That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1. Coco Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. At work, just pretend you're on a Zoom call with us. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. I live in Nashville, and interesting, the largest Iraqi immigrant population in the U.S. lives in the city of Nashville. It was just the closest place, like, Geographically, like weather and all that kind of stuff, when the, when they got forced out of Iraq, and then uh, the Gaylord Hotel chain in Nashville has a very large property, and they hired a lot of Egyptians who were persecuted Christian Egyptians in the 90s, and now almost every hotel in Nashville is Egyptian workers. It's amazing. Damn, that's crazy! I didn't know that. That's why I played it. That's kind of cool. I love learning stuff like that, man. Thank you, Sam. Love it, love it, love it. That's so interesting to me. Um, where's the, is still the largest Irish contingency, contingency would be in Boston still, obviously? Boston, Stereotypic. Chicago. Yeah, like, like Chicago. Right? Yeah. But I'd... Chicago's got another, don't, they have a lot of Italians, German, German well, and Italian. W- Central Florida would be the largest Puerto Rican contingent. Yeah, yeah, more, yeah. more so than New York. I believe that happened right. n- not too long ago where they surpassed the amount in New York. Right. Whereas, and, somebody, and somebody texted earlier and said that the largest contingency of Asians outside of, or, or Chinese outside of China, is in San Francisco. Yeah. And yet, in so Central Florida, we have more of a Puerto Rican uh, presence, whereas in South Florida, you have more of your Latin American countries, your Argentinians, your right, Colombians, right. your, your Brazilians, uh, as well as your Cubans. Jimmy, they're not all the same. I'm not sure. This is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that clarity. Brown is the new black. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that clarity. Do they deal with this in the deep south? Like, are, Is there a contingency of... What do uh, you think? Well, no, I mean, I'm just asking. I mean, you, I, can I tell you? Who knows? I mean, he just said there were a bunch of Egyptians in Tennessee. Yeah. I mean, I would. I didn't know if, I could, if, if it was like that maybe in, in Bama or Mississippi. I, I don't but know. What's interesting is why he said they chose that area is right. because of the climate similar to where they came from. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Wouldn't have ever thought Nashville was like a rock yeah. climate-wise because yeah. oh. you'd always think that it would be far more hot and deserty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you look at the global map, though, um, and you can see the parallels of where the weather is. You know, that's why everybody's like, why? Why is it so rainy and stuff in, in England all the time? Or if you look at it, it's parallel to like New York or even north of that. So it should be that. And when you look at how the parallels are uh, on the uh, on the globe, you can get an idea of what the weather looks like in that area. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's it's similar. Like, right? All right. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb and Jack are here as well. Uh, don't forget, uh, Ross is playing uh, Ocala tomorrow night. And uh, if you want to know Ross Comedy uh, dot com. You can get tickets to the show. So yes. I want you to go there and support Ross um, as much as you can, please. Um, so there's a, cr- a congressional bill that hopes to make it illegal to send unsolicited sexual images through texting, email, or social media. And this is one of those things I picked out because when you read that, you can't believe that it's not already. Like, could you imagine me sending an unsolicited picture of my genitals to Deb? That seems like a crime, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not. It is not that is not a crime. You have to be well, underage for it to be a crime. It might not be a crime, but I think it would get you fired. It, it may get you fired. <laughs> well, and only gonna get, if I you, said something. But you're not going to go to jail. <laughs> and, and, and they even have a name for it now. What do you think they call that now? And it, the whole it used to be like D pick that covered yeah, all of that, right? right. A D pick. Is and, it a D drop? Because it's like an airdrop. No, it's not a D drop. <laughs> no, no, no. It's called cyber flashing. Oh, so, so you're, 
Wow. You're basically cyber flashing them by sending someone a nude picture of yourself. I mean, you know, I'm sure a lot of these don't have like your I you're not leaning into the picture with your face. Oh, by the way, this belongs to me. <laughs> you know? yeah, if you can figure it out, this is mine. Uh, you know, but they're not going to give you that evidence. But still, I mean, gonna, there's a number there that's going to be associated with the phone that it came from. <laughs> I've never done this in my life. Oh, let me take that back. In oh. in my 20 year relationship with my wife. I have I have sent exactly one picture of myself nude to my wife, and I think she's done the same to me once, one time ever. You can't delete a picture faster than that. No, I no. mean I I am so horrified of having any sensitive information on my telephone. I'm I've horrified. had pictures show up like it's like on my phone, and then I'm it's home, it's on my iMac. I'm like, well, I never put that there. And then <laughs> between that and the iPad, I go. I don't mess around with that stuff because no. I still am unsure how it works. Yeah, buddy, listen. I just know the cloud will get you. <laughs> yeah, look, I the don't want that stuff. The cloud will get I you. I don't want that stuff. I, man, I would not allow. My wife could say, hey, I'm going to send you the sexiest picture you've ever even thought of. And I'll be like, you are not going to do that. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you, I am not responsible enough on my end to make sure that is going to be safe. <laughs> yeah. So send that somewhere. Send it somewhere you really trust. And that might be the smartest thing you said. Exactly. Right. Because exactly, buddy. if you've butt dialed anyone buddy. at any time ever in your life with a cell phone, you cannot trust that that digital oh, photograph yeah. is going to be oh. staying on that phone. Let's say you're drunk sending somebody some stuff and you meant to send them, you meant to send them one picture but your drunk thumb hit the wrong one. And let's say that drunk thumb hit one that wasn't so savory <laughs> and you sent it to somebody on accident. That'd be a bad news. Yeah, that would be very yeah, bad yeah. news. I, I could not imagine that. I would be so nervous ha having stuff like that on my phone. Look, Jack had my phone the other day because we were transferring some files. Right. And I was like, there's nothing on there, right? Because this guy's the worst. <laughs> now, oh I have... now, I know not to <laughs> swipe. Left oh, yeah. or right when you have someone else's Yeah, phone. you don't do that. I had, like, just a, an acquaintance, and this was years and years and years ago, uh, who had sent me one. And I called him up and shoot him out. I was like, I don't know what you were thinking about with that, but or by text. I was like, right, right, right. don't ever send me something like that again. Were, I did not ask for that. Were you single at the time? Um, yes. Okay, well, then it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, uh, and I don't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Better that, angle next time. But that's the thing. Is the funny thing is, is like I, I don't think this happens with guys as much, right? Like, I mean, again, I know I'm not in that game. Well, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't imagine even if I was, let's say I was, I was 35 or 36 years old, and I wasn't with anybody. And I've been in that place in my life before for a short period of time, and I never got just random boob shots or, or crotch shots from people. Well, that wasn't but, as easy and as accessible back. I mean, but, but I, I mean, mean, even during the phone days when you can send a picture, I'm saying, you know. I, I think kids get this a lot. Yeah, that's where I think Teenagers, it really. Teenagers, I think that's the high school, college age is the real but girl, but, cyber flat. I don't know if, if girls send I'm, as many as guys. Dude, I'm telling you, I think that's going to be, that would be one of the biggest shockers that if you did the analytics on that, I bet there's a certain swath of girls like under a certain age. Right. Man, look, let me tell you something. We were at dinner Wednesday night, you know, at, at, at one of our favorite restaurants, and there was a family sitting next to us. And it was two girls, uh, two daughters. They were probably 12, 13 years old. Uh, the dad and mom or girl or whatever, girlfriend. They were sitting there. So the one girl gets up and she goes to the bathroom. It just so happened that my wife was getting up to go to the bathroom around the same time. She, you know, The girl, I think, had been in the bathroom probably 30, uh, 30 seconds or so before my wife went back. My wife said when she walked in the bathroom, what do you think that girl was doing? Taking a picture. She was taking a picture to put on TikTok. As a matter of fact, my wife even said, now she, I, she wasn't nude or doing upskirts or anything like that, but she was in the bathroom as a 12 year old right. taking a picture of herself to put on TikTok. And my wife actually said, Hey, did I make it in your TikTok? This girl got so embarrassed. They went back to the table. We were sitting right next to him, closer than you and I are sitting right now. Oh, wow. And she would not make eye contact. Let me tell you, they got up and left, and this girl made it beeline to the front door. Because there she, she was. She was terrified that, you know, horrified that your that that we Tori say, was going to say something. Yeah. Because her parents yeah, probably. But that but, girl was then in a bathroom that's a hell of a lot fancier than the one she is at home with nice <laughs> no, lighting. No, this is the older restaurant. And that, that's no. why, if you remember, there was a story a while ago of schools. Jimmy, you had talked about this. Schools taking down the mirrors right. in school bathrooms because that's where kids went to go and film their TikToks. Because yep. they got better lighting. They could hold the camera in the mirror. So now schools, in order to cut down on the number of 
I need to go to the bathroom breaks. Yeah. Took the mirrors down, so it made it less attractive for kids to spend their time in there filming TikTok That's instead right. of going back to class. It's a, the, it's a, this is introduced by a Democrat congresswoman from Virginia that said the rise of artificial intelligence has made it easier for perpetrators to make manipulated sexual images that they can send to victims. And, of course, we've already seen this happen. Um and it says, with the widespread adoption of social media and dating apps and the rapid pro- proliferation of art, of AI and machine learning, cyber flashing, and other forms of online sexual expo- exploitation are rising. And I will tell you, too, I know that guys get the most of the brunt of this with the D-pick thing. That, like, that's become like the language you use to explain sending a new picture. But I'm telling you, girls, young girls right now, are hypersexual. And they're hyper aggro when it comes to this stuff. They have embraced that whole thing. Like, I ain't waiting. You know, I've got one, too, and I'll show it when I want. And I can be the aggressor here. I don't have to sit back mm. and wait. That's That mentality Call has, me. has ingrained itself into 15, 16, 17-year-old girls all the way up into their 20, early 20s. And this is another reason why you don't want to cyber flash. But there was recently, I think in the last couple of weeks, there was a Florida teacher that was arrested for creating child erotica using an AI program and photos from the yearbook. Wow. That's unreal. So think about that. And then Ray's case that it came in. Just like you talked about yeah. with the emergence of AI, you know, you'd send one of these photos and you think you're sending it to that one person, but someone else gets their hands on it. And the next thing you know, you're all over the internet. Oh, yeah. We just got a text saying that teachers sometimes get airdrops. Because people will make the mistake trying to airdrop a photograph to a to a, somebody in school, and actually it'll wind up on the teacher's phone. Somebody oh. just text that in. If you are in a public place, like uh, I remember doing this at, um, you know, let's call it uh, Halloween Farrer Nights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you can bring up your airdrop. You can have it set to only... Uh, um, accept airdrop messages from people that you know or in your in your Contact. contacts but if you have it open you'd be amazed at the pictures flying around that can show up there are you serious yeah. boy you got to be real careful with that yeah, yeah that's and, the because thing. i mean that's... here's the thing you're walking through there as an adult and let's just say there's some teenagers thinking they're you know swapping pictures and it happens yeah. to land on your phone yeah don't accept that could one could you imagine <laughs> the, uh... that but i mean what if it's in your back pocket jack but and that... it hits them and you don't even mean to like deb says and it loads it when you're w- without you even knowing yeah god go ahead, you were gonna say well yeah i and that's not just at um following foreign nights yeah, yeah. Uh, it's any place with a high concentration of people like edc right. e- that would be oh oh yeah oh. Oh, i might just go to, well, uh, shut up jack <laughs> be very careful very 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 oh, careful they, come on you you don't very need, careful. you don't need private pictures of that because what yeah. they're wearing <laughs> is, exactly. is enough yeah. to look at yeah, I tell you, most of the photos they probably have on more clothes than they than they have at the gig what's what it, what's funny about that is when you are going to an event like that where provocatively dressed is the norm and you fit right in oh yeah you still have to get there and whether you are leaving your home apartment or hotel room exactly you are walking down a long corridor you are going <laughs> past people you might know you are you know going through the regular routes of the city until you get oh. to this venue because i remember uh, last year the uh, at edc I was at my uh, uh, my daughter's apartment helping her do stuff, and in the hallway, we just passed a couple, and there was no doubt where they were heading yeah, based yeah. on what they were wearing, but oh. you're seeing them in, in a regular residential environment. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you what uh, my kids did. This is what I got, right? Now, you got to remember, they were in their, they were in their uh, um, 17, 18. They left the house. Hey, we're going to EDC. Sundress. Everything looked fine. I'm like, oh, you're wearing that? She goes, no, I'm, I'm bringing something with me. And I said, well, where is it? She goes, in my purse. <laughs> and I said, you have the outfit that you're going to wear on public, and it's in that tiny-ass little purse you have. <laughs> she goes, Dad, it's like hot shorts on a tube top. It's fine. I go, it is not <laughs> anywhere near fine. It's not even in the world of fine. That's why she left in they, the sundress. They did. I mean, tell you, both of them. The, uh, uh, look, when they were all younger, they'd leave the house, and I'd see pictures online, you know, because I'm not. they think I'm stupid enough not to go online, and they were right. <laughs> but I got somebody to help me. And there, you know, there, there's my kids in these hoochie, like, denim shorts, like, you know, out there having a good time. It wasn't terrible. I mean, as a dad, it was a bit much. But, I mean, in that world, I mean, they might as well have had a tux on. Right. I mean, because some of those chicks, is ridiculous. Just, Another, paint, just paint. Uh, no, yeah, exactly. Someone else said that uh, they do a Snapchat a lot. 
because Snapchat, the messages disappear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can send them yeah. and not yeah. worry about it. All right, 407-916-1041. Text <laughs> us at 77031. There was a marriage uh, just the other day. Not an ordinary marriage by any means. Oh, I almost put this in. You heard it here first. Not an ordinary marriage I'm by any means. glad I changed it. I'll tell you exactly who got married and what's going on next. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 8 p.m., it's Bungalower and the Bus. And at 9, we all find out what the hell is Angel listening to. Tonight on Real Radio 104.1. Still seeing heavy traffic on I-4 in the Orlando area this afternoon, east and westbound between US-27 and the 429, and between Osceola Parkway and 535. Drivers can also expect heavy delays on the turnpike, both north and southbound, between Kissimmee Park Road and 192. No major delays at this time, east or westbound on the 408. If you see traffic problems, just make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha. At the canning. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Looking for a premium oil change? Drive into Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Stay in your car and be back on the road in about 15 minutes. Our expert technicians use premium products for top-notch vehicle care. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK surgery, they're going to tell you this. It is the best thing I ever did for myself, and more often they'll throw in a little something like, should have done it way sooner. That's exactly what my father-in-law said, 58 years old, when he got his LASIK surgery, should have done it when he was 48 years old or even earlier because he dealt with bad eyesight for many, many years, as did my son, both of those guys at Filatoski Eye Institute with perfect vision now. What are you waiting for? If you deal with bad eyesight, you do not have to do that. You can have a better life. Just get these guys and get this free LASIK consultation. Let them tell you what they can do for you. And it's easy to make your appointment. Text 1041 to 868686. Start your journey to better vision. Do that with the Filatoski Eye Institute. These guys have all the experience you need. 65,000 LASIK procedures and they have the latest state-of-the-art LASIK technology which gets you the best results possible. And if finances are a concern do not stress 24 month interest free financing is available simply text 1041 to 868686 and schedule your free lasik consultation at the philatoski eye institute your path to better vision begins right now Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Apprentolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Man, if you live in Central Florida, you certainly need a guy. That guy is Mills Air because if your AC quits here in a couple months, you are going to be hating life. Let the guys over at Mills Air get you that preventive maintenance plan to make sure your AC is ready to go. Look at it like a an AC tune-up, and that's important because that's one of the most important things in your house is the AC. They have 30-plus years of experience here in Central Florida. Let them use that to make sure your AC system never quits on you. That's what they've done for me. That's what they did for Deb's mom, for Ross and his fiance or his wife. They took care of that as well. Their techs all know all these brands inside and out, and they're carrier factory authorized dealers. That could get you up to $1,275 and rebates towards that brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and you can always turn to family owned and operated Mills Air. Call these guys today and schedule that very important appointment. It's easy. 407-277-1159. You can make it online at millsair.com. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. 
And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. D app download and registration required. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Hey, Jimmy. Prince of the Islands. My daughter broke a phone, was using my son's phone. My son's phone is linked to my account. And the boyfriend sent some deep pics. I mean, it was a shameful thing. Never seen a white man that small. But anyway, the running joke was um, you need to have more boabo tree, drink more boabo tree, make it grow better. <laughs> you can't see it in the pics. Yeah, okay. Tell us more about this bob tree. Tinted and unclean. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about this magical dong tree. Well, what I think is... you got up there in Jamaica, dog? I think what's, what's more surprising, he was more disappointed in the size than the fact that he <laughs> sent it. <laughs> exactly. My poor daughter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Um, let's see what else. Oh, if you did, if you were... Oh, God, I just had a stroke. If you were, if Same. you have yet to get your ticket to the Harry's Poolside gig coming up, uh, next Saturday, April 6th. Go grab it now. Harryspoolside.com. I probably should check and see how many are left. I've been yeah, it a couple of times. Yeah, I haven't I haven't you mentioned that email. a few times too. So. I know. I, I probably <laughs> should do, I probably should do the right business here and check out and make <laughs> yeah. sure there's any left. I'm telling people to go there. I don't yeah. want them to get all pissed check off. So we can get the answer at about right. seven oh five. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll have all next week, but I want to make sure people have a chance to get in there. All right, 407 916 1041 Welcome back. I am Jim Deb is here. Hello. And Jack. Yeah. Okay, so Jack, have you heard anything about this this marriage? I mean, look, they they it look they've been married a little bit. Uh, the marriage actually happened in um, January. I in believe. January. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a marriage in January. Yeah, and yeah. what makes it different is this. Do you remember the conjoined twins, Brittany and Abby Hensel? You remember them? Yes. Two yeah. two heads, one body. Yes. Uh, the Brittany part of that um, got married. Or excuse me, Abby got married. Right, got married to a guy named Josh. Um, they are thirty-four years old. 
And if you haven't seen them, uh, they think they were introduced to the world in 1996 when they were on Oprah Winfrey's show. They also had a series on TLC. They, I think maybe, yeah, yeah, exactly. They also appeared in, on a show called Extraordinary People, the twins who share a body. And if you haven't seen them, imagine a girl that has two heads. I mean, it really, outside of that, mm-hmm. she, she, they don't look that, it doesn't look that abnormal. I mean, like you, you, there's no other really body abnormalities. Everything, well, everything else they share, right? No, well, I'll get into it in a second. Go ahead. Oh. Um, so one twin controls the right arm and right leg. The other twin controls the left arm and the left leg. I believe everything from the waist down is shared. It, it's one. It, well, oh, there is there is a difference. All right, Brittany controls the left, like you were saying. Abby controls the right. Which think about that, just to be able to walk. Right. And pick things up and work in unison with the other person because yeah. ride a bike because they have separate brains. All right, they have their own heart, brain, set of lungs, stomach, and kidney. What they share is liver and bladder, which means when one has to pee, they both have to pee. Right, but the other part they do not. Like if one has to go that way, the other one has to just sit there and wait. Now I got questions. Because, you know, and it's, you know, look, they don't talk about certain stuff in their relationship because it's just complicated. You, I mean, you could imagine that, right? I mean, how complicated that would be. One girl's married. Uh-huh. All right, one. Uh-huh. That means one girl yeah. has to sit around or lay there or whatever while marriage stuff is happening to the other girl. And by the way, she shares that part. So the one girl has to have adult relations with a man that she is not married to, to, to make sure that her sister can provide that service for the man she is married to. Well, you lost me at service, but well, I mean, you know, but I don't, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be disrespectful because it seems, it, it seems disrespectful just talking about it, but well, it, no, season, these are natural questions, but, but it is, you know, I mean, it says they're totally different people, different personalities. They have to bargain with each other every day for stuff that they want to do. They like, hey, if you do this, I'll do this. In other words, if you want to go on the Ferris wheel, I'll do that. But the Ferris wheel is going to cost you um, surfing or you know, uh, you know, uh, zip lining or whatever. So, what's the the one sister going to get for all the times that the wow? Th- this is just a whole myriad of issues, <laughs> Buddy, right? Listen, when you read this story, you yeah. can't stop thinking about all the things that all have to, of it. <laughs> you I mean, know, all of it because there's. It's <laughs> for a guy and a, a for a husband and wife. They have to, you know, both agree to. You need three people to agree for two people, but there's three. Yeah, it's, and, so like, it's always it's always a threesome. Yeah, it's, it's always, always a threesome. And, you know, the thing is, is and, and look, I'm I I'm I'm I, and I, only one hand available. Well, I mean, you have to well, ask the if the well, if the request is for the other hand, the, well, you have to negotiate that. Probably not though, because these are marital relations between one of the twins. That doesn't mean she wants her twin to actually get involved. You keep your hand over there and watch TikTok. Right. Yeah, if that's a hand that the the married, the wife does not control. Right. That shouldn't be involved. Th- that no, shouldn't no, be involved. No. You turn your head that way and watch TV. Let me ask you this. I'm, oh, and again, the, these they're 35 years old. <laughs> you think so they, they got a, like, Apple Vision Pro? This is, here, here. Go, this, go do this for a That's while. actually not a bad idea. Go you're close welcome. your eyes and you're, think of England. Look, you're going to feel it, though. I mean, yeah. because they share that. Yeah. Right, yeah. Let me ask. So before they got into this, obviously everybody, you know, has that urge. And when you're younger and don't have anybody or when you just don't have anybody, you take care of that thing yourself. <gasps> so for one, it's so, always someone else. So the one has to tolerate it. Let's say the one girl says, I'm feeling a little frisky because I don't have a husband yeah. and I would like to feel that. So the one has to sit there and wait while the other one takes care of herself, but still has the sensation that the other one's having. So if one wants to have it, the other one has to have it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I do. How crazy is that? And for whichever one it is, experiencing self-pleasure, we'll call it. Yeah. The other one... Turn your head and watch TikTok. No, I mean, she's you have, there. You, you would have to ask. You yeah, would have to look at your you friend would. and say, hey, I'm in the mood. Do you mind? Yeah. Or, or, or are you in hey, the mood? Or, right. hey, let's do this. But it's for one person, it's always someone else's hand. Right, right, right. And what if the other one gets married? 
then what? Then the one that's having sex with her husband is being cheated on. <laughs> well, no, because at that I mean, moment well, it's hers. Uh, is that how they do it? I don't know, but I bet that they've had to have before this marriage could have could have taken could place. You, the agreement they had to have come to the, the uncomfortable conversations, but by the time they're in their thirties now. Yeah, yeah mid thirties. So they've had these conversations and I, I, I that's the only thing I can imagine because the man she married is a U.S. Army veteran and a medic as well, I believe, and also has a six-year-old daughter. He does have a six-year-old daughter, right? So I'm sure they had to have had some really heady conversations, especially with a child already being in the picture. Don't say heady conversations, Deborah. You mean. Oh, you are so. You're, what happened? When, Deborah what, Roberts. What happened? When did you get so mean? I don't know, but use my middle name, Jack. It has more <laughs> impact. Deborah Ann. It, it's the, uh, the uh, but also now think. So for all the questions we have, what kind of questions do you think you get peppered with by a six-year-old? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much the same ones we're asking here. And one of the reasons <laughs> they do not do interviews or don't talk about because they inevitably— This is what people are going to ask. The, the, again, because here's the thing. I think most people can kind of get through the whole idea of, hey, yeah, you can make it through life. You learn how to walk. You learn how to use your hands properly. You know, obviously having another person attached to you— is going to be very difficult. Thank God it's your sister. Well, I mean, you don't have a choice. I mean, but, you know, you would hope that you would have the same, at least some of the same personalities. And then think about this. Like, health. Like, they have separate lungs and separate hearts. What about stomachs? Separate stomachs. They, so. They, so one could they, eat crazy, like wings and whatever, and the other one could eat healthy and they both oh, have to cool, deal bro. they both I have know. to deal with the, the body output they have to deal with the health so, issues so imagine one has salad and then the other one has a vindaloo <laughs> yeah. like jimmy which is the hottest indian food out there we used to joke around that it gives you dragon butt yeah 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 and then the poor twin who's you know eating salads and eating good has to deal with yeah dragon butt so, so think about this what what happens as they age and one gets heart disease or another issue yeah, well, wow. What? There's all the that. See, I'm, I think the medical fascination of it alone, but let alone the normal, well, normal the the things that we traditionally go through. They're on each other's clock. Yeah, I mean, think about yeah. it. Yeah, what about pregnancy? Do we uh, know about oh, uterus? Oh, jeez. It didn't say anything about uh, it. Doesn't say anything. I guess they I, share a uterus. I I, I need pictures. I, no, I, no, <laughs> no, I don't need pictures of that. I need to draw it out. I'm I'm having a hard time keeping track of who feels what. Yeah, yeah. how this is going to work. <laughs> I don't want to see real pictures. I'm talking stick figures, people. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's even scarier. Each have their own heart, brain, set of lungs, stomach, and kidney. The only organs they share that they mention, by the way, it doesn't right. say anything about the uterus or anything like that, is a liver and bladder. Hmm. And, and a lot of people are texting to say two different brains won't necessarily experience pleasure at the same time. Oh, you're right. Because, because a one lot could of get turned on by something else. Well, it, it may, yeah, exactly. So literally talk about the ink. Being the third wheel, what if waiting? Are you guys done yet? What, what if what if one of them? <laughs> what, what if one of the other girl, the ones that that's not married, I guess they're Brittany. What if she's into somebody that the other one really can't stand? I mean, what if yeah. she meets somebody and she legit doesn't like the person, but the, her sister has fallen in love, <laughs> yeah. and now she has to make love to that person. She has to make love to that person. What if one wants to get high or do drugs? Do you think they actually do that? Do you think they have sex? Or do you think they just use other other ways of doing it? I mean, not that that makes it any better, considering, you know, it's... <laughs> There's one act I'm thinking about. You just don't want to do that to your yeah, sister, man. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that No, I got that. What if, but that's serious, oh, though. Geez. Think about that. Oh, oh, no. What if that girl's into it? What if one girl's really into that? Uh, I'm, un I'm uncomfortable. Get that, my head up. Look, get it out of my head. Yeah, that's a, look, that's <laughs> get it out of my face. <laughs> oh, God, <this> Stop <laughs> it. The left side of my face hurts for some reason. <laughs> oh, you got, a, you got a rash there or something. Real mobile, 77031. What if she's gay? Oh, what, no. if the, what if the sister was gay? Somebody said, what if one of them wants to smoke? Well, they have separate lungs. Yeah.
Well, I, I love the fact that someone also said, I think this is more of a brain F than anything of the meaning of life or the yeah. vastness of the universe. I may have to take a nap yeah. after yeah. this segment. <laughs> to, uh, it's Yahoo, exhausting. <laughs> Yahoo.com uh, Entertainment uh, can join twins when you type that in. This this stomach, or excuse me, uh, this story will come up. I just saw the word stomach in my story here. That story will come up and you can read it. I mean, we're basically telling you everything. It says uh, they're anatomically joined uh, from the belly button down. They operate one body, resulting in siblings that need to be highly in sync with one another. But, you know, someone also just texted a really cool thing. Uh, being that this is the day and age of noise-canceling headphones and, and, you know, VR, you could basically be, you know, as much as possible. Right. You know, I mean, but physically you're, it's you're, still. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel this guy on you or behind you or however you decide to make that happen. <laughs> And you, I guess, this is... I laugh when I get nervous. That's all I'm saying. let me ask. Do you think the one has a sex hood? Like something you... Oh, man, put this on. Put this on. Like, like literally, (laughs) like an executioner's hood. She just puts it on, lightly ties, and then just like la, 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 the whole time it's going on. Dexter wants to know if they have multiple safe words. Yeah, I'm just glad we're doing this on Good Friday. Yeah. Oh, 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 good point. Damn it. I mean, what if one, but think about it. What if one became like, you know, what if they just cho- chose totally different like religions and lifestyles? One wanted to be a stripper. <laughs> right, exactly. What if, what, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You want to take that show on the road. You, you want to <laughs> shut OnlyFans down. <laughs> Holy ass. Could you imagine? Well, someone else is a six-year-old girl, then call her Aunt Mommy. (laughs) (laughs) Show title. Aunt 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 Mommy. Aunt Mommy. (laughs) When I saw this story today, I I mean, because here's the thing. I've seen interviews with the girls, and they're so sweet. They are. I mean, they are just normal, everyday American girls who happen to be living through what has to be one of the most difficult cards ever dealt in life yeah. to have that scenario set up and have to even think about what we've just talked about for the last 10 or 15 minutes. We talk about it in jest. Yeah. That's their actual life. Like They have to make these decisions every day of their life. And it's new to us, but to them, this is th- three decades plus in the making, right? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think they've come to terms on a lot of the... Things that how they are approaching life and right. their philosophy and Man. and how they interact. I mean, you have no choice, right? Yeah. I mean, here's the thing: who are the worst people in the world? Kids. Yeah, middle schoolers. Middle right? schoolers. Yeah, so the, if the, they survive that, yeah, the worst people in the world are middle school middle school kids, right? Yeah. Could you imagine, like that six year old or that girl that who's the daughter of the guy that got married? Eventually, she's going to be in school. And then she's going to be going. The, you know, they are going to be right. going to school with her for like you know, uh, you know, meetings or you know, as chaperone, whatever the case may be. Can you imagine how insane that's going to be for that little girl who just you know got into this family because her dad fell in love? Parent and yeah. teacher night. And how do you fall in love with one? Well, I mean, isn't that? I mean, well, how do you fall in love with one of them? I mean, you're gonna be it's personality. I mean, it, it would be well. It, I mean, they're different people. There's no they question. are different people, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different, different, people. different brains, different, right, dreams, right, right. different brains, different hearts, different. You know. What so, if, what if the other one also fell in love? Would it be polygamy if he married both of them? <laughs> that was a that was a stunner. Wow. Uh, Would it be polygamy wait, they, they if have, he mar- if he married both of these sisters? If they did a whole thing, do like, they have separate uh, social security numbers? Yes, they do. They're they separate. are two, they are two unique, different people, two different, two different brains, people. buddy. Two hearts, two brains. Can't marry both, but maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe he did marry both of them, but for legal reasons, they have. <laughs> oh. This is the story for legal oh. reasons because they can't yeah, yeah. say they are two different people. Yeah, yeah. We can't legally say we're all married. But they are all into yeah. it because it's the only way this really works, <laughs> isn't it? Let me ask you: Do you think if they offered one of these girls to be removed and to have a life? Of course, everything would stop at the belly button, but they could take care of that. You'd be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life, but you would be separate. Do you think they'd do it? I don't think they. It would be possible. Yeah, but what I'm saying, if it was, <clears throat> I got to tell you, I think even if it was, I don't think they would. Now. I don't think I they mean, would either. You're acclimated to that life now, right? I mean, you're acclimated to that. You've learned the only way you know how to live life is like this. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to have one arm. 
You're not going to have legs. And with her, you have the arm, the legs. Theoretically, you can do what most people do. You can walk, talk. You can, you can, you know, do stuff with your arms. You're completely mobile. And for the one who keeps texting about how many, she has two breasts, or they have two breasts. Yeah, they each have. So there's four breasts total. Oh, there are four. Oh, yeah, they have. Oh, no, that's right. Because I saw the, top. the wedding dress. That yeah, it's it was, just two. It's a normal wedding right. dress, and there were two breasts. So there's two heads coming off of the shoulders. But in that body, there has to be two sternums because they have two rib cages because they have both lungs and a heart. It is extra wide, their sternum, but I don't know. Maybe they just did the dress, designed the dress a certain way. But from Uh, what I saw, the wedding dress, it looked like it was, Yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, You can find the story if you want to check it out, yahoo.com slash entertainment. That's where it is. So um, another texter leaned in at 77031. Do they get paid double? Oh, God. (laughs) <laughs> they finally cracked by, the ceiling. By, yeah, two of them. by the way, the real mobile texting service, bravo to you. They, they, yeah. they have sent some not yeah. only really funny you're lines, but a lot of people. And a lot of great that, questions. Yeah, you're the worst people <laughs> yeah. that ever lived, by the way. Horrible human beings. You, you people that I'm seeing right you are the worst people I know. Uh, kind of proud of it. That's cool, but I'm just saying you are. I need you to know that. You're horrible human beings. Very funny, but we, terrible. We love you. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Take a little break. We'll come back in a sec. We'll find out. Uh, we'll get you heard it here first, and then get the hell out of here for the weekend. We'll be Woo-hoo. back in one sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. Cool through this evening as clear skies continue. We'll see a low 55 degrees for Saturday morning, but Easter weekend it will be nice. It will be warm with temperatures into the 80s, a high of 81 degrees with mostly sunny skies on Saturday. Easter Sunday, high of 84 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Beautiful weather both days, no rain chances expected. Warm up into the upper 80s by Tuesday. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ian Cassette. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Looking for a premium oil change? Drive into Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Stay in your car and be back on the road in about 15 minutes. Our expert technicians use premium products for top-notch vehicle care. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Man, if you're thinking about getting a new bathroom, replacing or remodeling a bathroom, let me help you out here. Stop calling the contractor. Stop listening to your friends. I got a one-stop shop for it. It's Rebath of Mid-Florida. These guys are awesome. When I say these guys, it's a father and son team. Dave and Josh Denbauer, wonderful people. Been doing this for 12-plus years here in Central Florida, and they only do bathrooms. Matter of fact, they're so good at it. You know the big DIY stores, the blue and the orange? Everybody knows, right? Well, Rebath is who installs their bathrooms for them. And not only do you get great installation that's trusted by some of the biggest companies in America, you get great products to choose from and a design team to help you with ideas. In other words, you walk in and you basically say, I'm ready for a bathroom, and they hand walk you through the process of a beautiful bathroom with incredible products, including natural stone like Travertina Marble. They have that. Multiple choices of sinks and tubs and toilets and lighting and cabinets and tile and fixtures and speaking of that right now if you tell them you heard this from the jim colbert show eight hundred dollars worth of upgrades whether it be your shower door your fixtures your tile whatever the case may be eight hundred bucks tell them i sent you down and get the bathroom of your dreams their showroom is easy to find 436 in altamont right across from kobe and find them online for the before and afters and then book your appointment it's rebath midfla.com Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call 
FAS windows and doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life, dot com. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. Right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So hey, why so go anywhere what? else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. <laughs> Stay tuned to the Jim Colbert Show as we demonstrate our attitude of gratitude. Our thank you segment is sponsored by Life Imaging FLA. Now open. Call pound 250, keyword free heart scan. Don't miss TK Law. Trendley Kramer Law calls every Wednesday at 835 on the Monsters in the Morning. Ray Trendley and the Monsters will be discussing all things law, from the latest celebrity legal troubles to what's going on out there. Canes, canes, canes. Get an alarm clock. Get a rooster! <laughs> Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday, for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on! Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Kings, Kings, Kings. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live crafts, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live crafts, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call one 888 minute I'm Rebecca. I was injured in a car accident and hired one of the big TV law firms. They sent me to an injury clinic that I felt just wanted to make money off me. I needed an attorney and doctors who cared about me. I called attorney Glenn Klausman and he helped me get the best doctors who really helped me. I was extremely pleased with my settlement. He also got me $10,000 for vet bills for my dog that was injured in the accident. And he did that for free. Call attorney Glenn Klausman at 407-917-1718. Glenn Klausman, Office Winter Park. You probably don't know this or care, but we have web goals. So go to jimcolbertlive.com and look at stuff. Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well. This is Momanji the Realtor. I moved here in 2002, and a lot of my family, cousins, and everybody lives in Lake Mary Sanford. I'm an Indian from Africa, and there's two massive mosques over here. So you get like a community yeah. kind of feel. If you need anything, a job, a place to stay, you have somebody to help you. That's why people kind of congregate like that. So it works out. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mo. We appreciate that very much. I think yeah, out, cool. out in Geneva, there's a Sikh temple, I believe. Yeah. 
um, and another temple like that out in that area. They do buy those in those rural areas because the because the property is so inexpensive, and they'll build them in the middle of nowhere. So you could be driving, and actually there's one on 419 going past Osteen, you'll, and it's nothing out there. And then all of a sudden you'll look over, and it'll, it's this unbelievably ornate four or 5,000 square foot building that's a Sikh or you a, know, Buddhist temple. a Buddhist temple of some sort. Beautiful stuff, but I mean, they just get that money, they get it that cheap, and then they go in there and build it nice. Uh, very cool, though. Thanks, Mo. We appreciate your call. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. Uh, I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack is here as well. Yeah. All right, let's do You Heard <laughs> It Here First. It's time for You Heard It Here First on the Jim Colbert Show. Yeah, I'll cover a few breaking stories that we didn't get to during Woke News, so let's kick it off. Police made a second arrest in the random punching of women. Yeah, in New York. On New York City streets. Yeah, This cops, is so stupid so and weird and infuriating. Yeah. And yeah. disturbing and scary. Yeah. Um, cops I, say... Good. Oh, cops say they arrested 30-year-old Malik Mia yesterday and charged him with assault for allegedly punching a 27-year-old woman in the face in Greenwich Village on Monday afternoon. This follows the arrest of 40-year-old uh, Skiboski Skorba, yeah. uh, Stora, rather, who was charged with sucker punching another woman on March 25th. Both arrests come on the heels of a recent wave of women posting on TikTok that they were randomly punched while just simply walking yeah. in the city. Meantime, Police do not believe all the attacks are related, which is, I think, probably one the most disturbing. Yeah, yeah. All it takes is one bullet to the chest for one of those idiots, and then the other ones will stop. And I hope somebody does do that. I hope one of those girls pulls out a gun and shoots one of those guys right in the effing face. I really do. I got no problem saying that. Then that idiot, and then that idiocy will stop. Right. People will learn their lesson to stop doing stuff like this. That's what has to happen. Unfortunately, you can't tell these people to not do it. They have to have some kind of unbelievable recourse for them to understand not to do it. I just don't understand what oh, the man. impetus is in the first place. All right, actor Louis Gossett Jr., the first black man to win a supporting actor Oscar, has died. Gossett yeah. Jr. won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his role in An Officer and a Gentleman. He also won an Emmy for his role in the miniseries Roots, the original miniseries yeah. Roots. Uh, Gossett Jr. was 87 years yeah. old and passed away in Santa Monica, California. Yeah, wasn't he part of Airwolf, Jack? Was he the guy, Airwolf? No. Louis, that was Jim Michael Vincent and Ernest Borgnine. Yeah, but I thought there was an African American actor on that as well. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. Louis Scott's a junior. No, hey. right. Officer and a gentleman. I remember. Yeah, him yeah, in, for but... sure. Every man. Oh, oh, everybody oh, remembers I get, now that I get a look one. Up Airwolf. And then finally, Sean Diddy Combs is out and about days after news of his involvement in a federal sex trafficking investigation. The rapper flashed a peace sign while out with his uh, teenage twin daughters at Top Golf in Miami. Mm-hmm. Fed searched his properties in Miami and Los Angeles on Monday, seizing evidence, turning up firearms. In fact, a Department of Homeland Security official told the New York Post that they believe he has a, quote, disturbing history of sex trafficking, yeah. end quote. It does not look good, man. No, it doesn't. And it now does you've, heard it, you've heard it here first on the Jim Colbert Thanks, Show. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate that. You got it. Uh, did you find the series I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, he was not an airwolf, but what? let's see. He's on Rockford Files, Lonesome Dove. Wasn't he? I thought Stargate. he was in a show where there was a helicopter. Roots. Uh, a helicopter? No. One, I don't know. He was in Roots. God, dog it. I, I swear that I remember him in a show where there was like a, a was it Iron Eagle? But that was a movie. That was a movie. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking And about. that might be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I remember. That yeah, was yeah, an yeah. 80s flick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very yeah. good. Uh, Deb, who do we have to thank today? Well, we want to thank Fayez Cara, restaurant critic for the Orlando Weekly. You can get his review of restaurants under the goods at jimcolbertlive.com. That's right. Also want to thank Candace Rich for her rich tips. Yes. As well as uh, Sam Bowen and Candace Rich for running our YouTube chat. And once again, for also handling all of the social media yeah. given this week. Which we really appreciate. We yeah. really appreciate it. 1986, Iron Eagle with Lewis Gotcha Jr., although it wasn't a helicopter, it was fighter jets. It's fighter jet. There you go. Okay. Well, God, all right. God <laughs> almighty, man. Get off my ass. Whoa. Uh, question of the day, Jack? I'll give you a quarter of a bell. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the question was, have you ever sent a nude picture? And then I put in brackets electronically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack used to do it by mail. Jack yeah. into, checks into the analog. Again, it was drawing stick figures. <laughs> but um, I don't, you know, I got to tell you, I think maybe 35% of the audience has done that. 
let's go 51%. Oh, my God. Wow. More than half of you people need to chill out. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then they started sending them to me. <laughs> okay, good. That's fine. But How Jack is going to send you a thank you card. All That's right, the difference. Let's get that out of here. <laughs> um, by the way, before we get out of here, I just want to thank you guys. Uh, you know, on behalf of the entire show for uh, supporting us this week, it's oh. been a very difficult week. And uh, we thank you for all the kind words you put online. Uh, we want you to support Ross Paget and his comedy career and his merch and do everything you can. You'll see us at shows. We still love Ross uh, dearly, and I just really appreciate your patience through this very difficult time. Uh, this has been this has been really hard on us. It really has, and it's been hard on Ross and the family. Uh, Deb talked to him last night. I talked to him earlier this week. Jack is on the phone with him. Um, yeah, he's, he's in a good place. He's he's going to be fine. Um, but you know, we will never, you know, we'll never forget him. And I know people text in and said, how do you just go on with the show? I, I mean, you kind of have to, we don't have a choice. We have a job. I mean, we're still gutted inside, yeah, but, but we mean, still have to do our job. But we really do appreciate all the great support and all the kind words. And we really do. Thank you for that. We really do. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, on behalf of Deb and Jack, I am Jim. We follow the news. Chuck, what? Well, she's pointing. I was just going to say RossComedy.com, and don't forget he's got a fringe show coming up as well, and we're going to let you know more about that as we get closer to this year's Orlando Fringe. more than likely, we'll talk to him about it as well. So, I mean, all right, let's get out of here for sure. On behalf of uh, Deb and Jack, I am Jim. We follow the new Shucky. They follow the monsters in the morning. After us, it's Tom and Dan with the Corporate Time and our friends from Real Laughs, along with What the Hell's Angel Listening to, Bungalow or in the Bus, and, of course, Sunday morning with our very own Jack Bradshaw. It's Captain's Log Radio, Real Music Weekends all weekend long, and Sunday morning coming down with the legend Joseph Martins. We'll see you Monday at 3 for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Until then, have yourself a fantastic weekend. And happy Easter. Bye. Hey, my little darling baby. A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan is coming up next on Real Radio 104.1.